There we go. Okay, I had an issue with the server, but it seems to be resolved after I rebooted the damn thing. Uh, so, uh, welcome to Pranksgiving 2023. This is Axpo with Madhouse Militia Presents. I'm going to play for you something I prepared. Um, this morning I was I was rudely awakened by Jayad, who wanted to do a show at 9 a.m., so I made myself available and we did some calls. So you'll listen to me being very groggy from this morning, as well as a little bit of uh, some fun stuff from years past. Uh, with me I have uh, Milkman here. Uh Oh, hello, happy Thanksgiving, and Axpa, and all our dear family, up early. Very early. I'm usually not awake at 9 o'clock <laughs> in the morning, so that I alone know, I had was... to put on my sunglasses, brother. <laughs> yeah. So here, uh, listen to this. I'll mute up. Uh, I'll mute Milkman until we come back, and we've got some stuff planned for you guys for the next three hours. And then uh, after me comes uh, Dragon Mirror and Wasted Memory. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And we're all on rogueserver.com's Mumble server. So if you wish to join us for calls, it is an open door. Just I ask you to be um, as kind and courteous to everyone else. Um, no you know, slurs, no, no, uh, basically no bigotry. That's really the main thing. Be civil to one another. Be kind. We can all get along and have fun. All right? So those are the uh, the rules. It's pretty simple. Uh, here's what I, I have for you guys to listen to for the next uh, six minutes or so. Fine, and yourself? Not good. Don't ask me again. I need to talk to the pit boss in charge of the poker games. Hello, Let's go. Hello, stream. Uh, I'm breaking in. Hurry up. Uh, we're gonna switch things up. For a we gotta call here. the fatties too. Uh, got, hey, got I got call the village poker with me. Sorry, how can I help you? I'm looking for a pit yeah, boss in charge of poker. I don't need to talk to a woman. Stream. Is there a man I can talk to? Good. The I'm making an announcement yeah, on, on the stream. I'm ha I'm really asleep. Hello? Uh, uh, this is the uh, poker room. Yeah, well, I need to talk to a man in a suit, not um, you. What are you going to do okay, for Okay, hold on. Here. Come refresh uh, my drink. Hello, everyone on the stream. Who's this? Let me pause my the, name is uh, Cross. We're playing, the playing. We're currently playing yeah, Thanksgiving right. 2017, but uh, Jaya's here. Hi. And it's early in the morning, and I'm still asleep, but... <laughs> We're gonna try something. <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. Worried. So am I good? Yeah, we're all good. We're all set. Woo! All uh, right. Are the levels good? Yes, the levels are great. Mumble is awesome. great, and we're all ready and set to go. I just have to figure out what we're calling and then um, press the button. Yeah, we'll call some things. It'll be a second though. Are you ready to show some respect now, sir? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, now what are you looking for? Do you have the horsey cat? What was that? Horsey cat. Is that what it is? Somebody playing on the phone. No, it's horsey cat. That's what it's called. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Could you go and do me with respect now? Thank you for calling. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Target on too much. Can I be find something? Yeah, I can't stay and wait on hold for so long in that motherfucker, you know? I'm sorry, sir. What is that? What is it that you're looking for? Uh, alright. It's Horsey Cat. It's advertised as being twenty nine ninety nine. the Horsey Cat Machines. Horse and Cat Machines? Horsey Cat. Rude as fuck. For no hey, don't, don't say the fuck word, okay? Excuse you know, me, this is my mouth. You little monkey. You bastard. Your, your mama. <laughs> oh, shit, you heard him. <gasps> oh, because she was saying fucking to me, milkman, fucking shit, she said to me. And I have Thank a right you to for calling myself. Target Store. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello? <laughs> Man, that's the ghettoest target I've ever talked to. They're going to put me on hold again. I don't want to deal with it, Milkman. Are you here, sir? Milkman? Mr. Milkman? Hello? Milkman, sir? Target on Garner's you. Hey, are you ethnic? Um, what? Are you Sorry. An, are you an ethnic? No. Okay, good, good. Listen, I was um 
trying to see if you have Horsey Cat there still. Wait, what? Horsey Cat. Do you have any Horsey Cat? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Horsey Cat, my daughter keeps asking for Horsey Cat. I guess, like, the video shows, like, Horsey Cat comes down and the kid's playing with a Horsey Cat. You know, it comes down and there's sparkles everywhere. I it's do on, not know what you're talking about at we, all. We were watching Nickelodeon before, you know, before we had Thanksgiving dinner. And she's like, I want a Horsey Cat. And then I looked it up and it says that it's for sale. A Target's advertised Horsey Cat. Is it in our Black Friday ad? Do you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's in the back somewhere. Okay, if you hold on, I can check. Look for Horsey Cat. I think that's pretty... She just keeps asking me Horsey Cat, Horsey Cat. She's like one year old, so... She's like two... Well, okay. yeah. You hold on, I'll look check. She's 16 months. She's real stupid, so... All right, she's looking. Are you there, or you just, just got me on hold? Yeah, I'm here. Not you. You sound far away anyway, you little shit. Now I'm back. Now I'm back. Good. Oh, yeah. They make a big sandwich, man. And toast. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Man. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that mashed potato sandwich, too, later. What the fuck? Oh, Mad House special. What the fuck is horsey cat? Yeah, I don't <laughs> fucking know, man. I think it's a cat with a horse's penis. <laughs> it's so a stuffed like a, cat with a horse's penis. It's a half <laughs> horse, half cat toy. That I'm asking yeah. about. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fucking it's a stuffed cat with a horse's penis attached to it. <laughs> the, the the fucking penis is like five times as long as a cat. <laughs> I just imagine this crazy Japanese style anime cartoon uh, <laughs> advertisement, like oh, horsey god! It you know, it's got the it's got the cat ears and eyes, and then a real long face. Why such a long face? <laughs> oh, long face. Ma'am, what are you looking for, please? Did you call me a ma'am? I'm sorry, I'm sir. What you, can I help you with? God damn it, shit, ass, shit, fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> we lost him. <laughs> By golly, it's the same. Oh, we got a fuzz line. Hang on, we'll try it again. They say it has the body of a horse and the face of a cat. Yeah. It's a horse. And uh, I want to ride on the horsey cat, the horsey cat, yeah, the horsey cat. So I want to ride on the horsey cat, the horsey cat, yeah, the horsey cat. I want to ride on the horsey cat, yeah, horsey cat is strong. the charm of a cat. You can pet it and it will eat Jackie and Egg on your hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, far. It's the horsey cat and we do it all night long. And that's uh, the horsey cat. And that was created, well, that was Carlito and Milkman 10 years ago. Um... And I never knew it was Milkman that really came up with the idea for what the horsey cat actually was. So, it's a bit of history for you. Um, really happened. <laughs> and horseycat.com is still up. Uh, I've been keeping it going for the last decade. And <laughs> Oh, great. Yeah, that was back heart. in those days where... That's one of the greatest toys ever. We would, um, you know, we'd all hang out in, IR- in IRC, and we'd all, you know try and make up like ridiculous things to do and one of the ridiculous things was well why don't we buy horseycat.com and create a website out of it and um you know throw together a bunch of stuff and there was a bunch of drawings made and over the years more people contributed drawings of the horsey cat and uh jai had made a plushie uh specifically for calls and mass confusion for the second season where carlito and jai and brad they all uh, worked together as Horsey Cat Industries, which was a you know company that was just making the Horsey Cat plushie. And, of course, Carlito famously uh, stroked the Horsey Cat's fifth leg uh, on video. <laughs> so, Kickstand. Yeah. And uh, for those that don't know, um, 
I am embarking on a remaster of all of Calls of Mass Confusion's footage. It's like 89 hours of footage. And uh, we're going to see where that leads. I'm not quite sure where the end is, like what it's going to become. If I'm going to re-edit it all together of all the episodes, all the missing parts oh. of episodes. Um, there's so much there that was cut off in the editing room. And I'd like to try and restore things uh, as best I can. So that's a long-term that's gonna project. That's going to be amazing. Yeah, and I've actually I've scheduled oh. it out, like figuring out how much time it's going to take me. It's going to be... It's going to take about two to three years to do the whole entire thing. But um, that's just as a hobby. If I decide I want to spend more time on it, then it'll get done a lot faster. It's just, you know, yeah. it's just a matter of scheduling and, and finding the time to do all that work. But I think it's worthwhile. Yeah. I'm going to try and get it at least to high def. It. Um, a lot of the source footage is under uh, even standard definition resolution. So... Getting it to high def is kind of oh, a step couple number peaks one. of what you're working on. It really yeah. looks fantastic, guys. So all you people out there listening, this is going to be massive. It's going to be overcoming and going to be incredible. So just a little bit I saw, trust me, it's going to be amazing. There's so many funny little bits that, um, you know, looking back, I, it made sense to cut things. But now, you know, looking back at it again, there's so much there that's there's a whole other story going on there there's <clears throat> bits where carlito and and dwight come up with the concept for the butthole bandit right on the fly and it's all it's all captured for viewing pleasure but that wasn't included in calls of mass confusion so that's going to be something you know that either there's going to be a behind the scenes i don't even know i just want to get the footage to a point where it's you know i can take it from there, from high def to 4K to 8K or whatever, and we can make something out of everything that's there. So I think there's a lot more there. Yeah. There's more meat on the bone than we realized at the time. Now let's see if Miriam yeah, grab that stuff up off the cut room floor. Yes. Hello, and thank you for reaching out yes. to the Baltimore Museum of Art, where admission is free okay. for all. Museum hours are Wednesdays through Sundays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and every Thursday until 9 p.m. Tickets are now on sale for Making Her Mark, a history of women artists in Europe, 1400. <laughs> this major exhibition rewrites Western art history through more than 200 objects that reveal the extensive contributions and achievements of women artists and makers from the 14th century through the 18th century. Opening Sunday, October 1st, the BMA is the... Yes. Good afternoon, Baltimore Museum of Art. Yes, hello. I'm, I'm so here. I've got a lost in here. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm in the museum. I was looking for the loo, and I've got a lost. What? Oh, yes. Hello. Yes, we're. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're closed for the rest of the day. Yes, I've been in here since yesterday. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I finally found my phone. Yes. Oh, oh you yes. lost your phone? Yes. Yes. It's lost in the museum. Okay. Um. We were we weren't open yesterday. No, it was days ago. I was with my family, and they took me to a large meal. Last night, but today, oh, today is the other day, and what is today? Today's Friday. Yes, and my family came to the, the home. They thought I had got a loss again. Yes. But my phone's not with me. 
It must be there. Yes. Yes. From when did you lose it? Oh, we were there all day. I haven't had it out here because I hadn't used it since the morning when they come pick me up. Oh, yes. And I had I'd eat it. And I haven't got it. And I believe it's there. Have you got a loss if I hand? What kind of phone is it? Yes, it's immobile. Immobile. Mm hmm. What, what day did you lose it? It was Tuesday. We weren't open on Tuesday. I don't know. Was it Wednesday? But yes, I was Wednesday then, yes. And that makes more sense then. Because I ate on yesterday. And I fasted all day Wednesday when I was at the museum. Yes. Um, hold, hold on, um... Yes? Let me, let me see if anything was turned in. Yes? But he... I don't know... I don't know... It was a Google... The Google phone! And it has the... The windmill on the front! Yes! It was the Norwegian phones. Yes. And they put it in my bonnet and onto the floor. And she lost it Tuesday, but I was wondering if any cell phones were turned in this week. Stand by, you can send that call to the office. Ten four. Yes, hello? Yes. Yes, uh, I'm going to transfer you to our lost and found. Oh, good, yes, yes. On. Yes, yes, okay. yes. I'm holding. Yes. Yes, I'm holding. Yes. Oh, yes, it's very loud. Hello? Yes, um... Yes. Uh... Yes. Hello? Okay. Um. Hello? Okay, he says, no, lost profession. Yes, he's stolen my bicycle. Hello? I have the call. The call forward is on. I'm answering the phone in command, and when I do the transfer, it doesn't seem to be going through. Yes. Hello? Hello? Um, yes. Uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, not, nothing, um, has been turned in. Oh, dear. Um, but if you, if you want to leave your, uh, name and phone number, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get back to you if... if yes, but you have it. the phone. What? What's my phone? My phone is, is there. Oh, if you call me, you'll just ring yourselves. How does that help me? Okay, can you give me your name and phone number? It's, it's Miriam Jones. But my number's there. Yeah, I don't have your phone number. But the phone's there. It doesn't matter if you have my number. It'll just ring what's there. You won't reach me. You say you were told the phone is here? Yes, I'm on a pay phone. Oh, you're on a pay phone? Yes. In the you shelter. Have a home phone? No, in the shelter. I have got a home. I lost it. They put me in the home. But I got loose. And now I'm on the streets. Yes. Oh, God.
Oh, yes. 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 What do you have for Does phone? Do you have a home phone number? No. It's, it's the phone that you have. If I ring you, that's my number. Your number's my number now. I'm taking your number for myself. Yes. Okay, um... <laughs> um, right, well, uh, yes. what, what is your name? It's Miriam. Miriam Jones. And i have of Yorkshire. But I'm here on holiday. Ah, ah, yes. Yes. Okay, uh, your name is Jones. What's your first name? Miriam. Am I alright? I am Miriam. Uh huh. And you you live in a shelter? Yes. It's a lean to next to the bus station. Yes. I've been here for many a year. Oh, I've been here. For many a year. Okay, and what day were you at the museum? Yes, it was Wednesday, and the twenty, the twenty, the twenty second, I believe, nineteen thirty-four. I'm sorry. What? What was that? Yes, nineteen thirty-four. The year prohibition ended. Yes. 1934? Yes. Yes. My son was there. And he was quite... He was putting up quite a show for everyone, yes. I said, I don't... Who was this? What did you say your name was? Hello? Yes, hello? Yes. Who is this? Hello? Uh-huh. Yes, who are you? Okay, um... Okay, if, if we, uh... If we find it, we'll... we'll get what back. are you gonna find? Who is you? What are you? What is your name? Okay, is your number a horse, Y, cat? Does that mean anything to you? And I'm Mary M. Mary M. Mary M. M. I. I. M. M. O. U. S. E. Yes. Marion. Marion Jones. Yes, you've got it. Okay. Mar Ann Jones. Yes. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. When I get down there tomorrow, I've got to show you something in me knickers. Don't you want to see me, Fanny? It's worse for you and only you. Okay, you call back tomorrow. Yes. I'll show you my fanny. Yes, it's very moist. Oh, God. Yes, okay. Why oh, is it so moist? Oh. I'm having a release. Oh, God, yes. Oh. Okay. All right, call back tomorrow. Yes. You've got okay, me, Randy. Bye -bye. Yes. Oh, All God, right, yes. Bye. Yes. 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 Okay, bye bye. Yes. <laughs> well, well, these are the he things. So we reluctant to release his name. <laughs> He was not going to give it up. That was, uh, that was uh, <laughs> he felt like he didn't hear it. <laughs>
I like the date, 1934. He got that. The, uh, <laughs> the bong rips before the show really hit right there. Um, and there, I have to pack this more with ice, but let, let's see what we can do. I've got. Let's get some. Let's get some liquor. It's no never too liquor. early on Black liquor. Friday to start liquor. drinking, uh, right? I think. Whoa. Hi. Hey, have you got some rye over there? Oh shit! You know what I think is happening? I think. Uh-oh. I think it could be that um, spam calls are being filtered. So if people don't respond to our antics, I'm just going to move on. Usually that means they've got some sort of spam blocker. 3,000. I read our call ID. <laughs> well, Horsey Cat is on the caller ID. That's what that guy yeah. read. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Why cat? Horse why cat. <laughs> Northwest Highway. Hi, have you got some rye? Yeah, we have rye. Okay, what what you got? Uh, I'm looking for uh, what is it, what's the ball here? Uh, James Pepper. James Pepper. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Hold on. All right. Thanks. I don't want to wait. I don't want to listen to 90s music. I heard that, that enough in horrible. the 90s. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm getting too damn old for this shit. <laughs> Not for the pranks, but for listening to music from the 90s. No thank you. Only 35 years ago. It feels, it feels like it. Yeah, shit. People are doing like, there's like uh, landscapers, they're doing landscaping. Everything's frozen. There's nothing to fucking landscape anymore. Everything's dead. Hi, uh, I want some alcohol. It's gonna make me feel like I'm dead inside. What do you got? Uh, what kind of liquor you like? Rye. Rye? Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Willie Brewer's Rye. We have Wolf Push Rye. What's the most expensive one, and then the cheapest one? Just a second. All right. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Just give me a few minutes. Yeah, I'm taking sips from what I got left. Pack some more ice in this thing. It's never too early to start drinking on Black Friday, right? Hello? Ben Jode. I think they're making it right now. Mm. Hello. Thanks for calling the dead rabbit. You've reached our virtual concierge. Our team uh. members are unable to field questions. Uh. Hello? Hello. Hi. Is this Ben? Uh. Uh, on rice we have... Um, let me see, what's the expensive rice? Uh, it's a rice, not expensive. Let me see. Let me see. 
Ah, 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 we have on a mm. cheaper bottles. We have um, uh, we have old push forester, um, and on expensive one we have some allocated bourbons. Special allocated uh, bourbons. Yeah, you got the horsey cat. Horsey cat. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, we have a. a uh, Wheelers, CYPDs, uh, Wheeler 12, Stag Juniors, um, Landons. Got one with a man's name. Something manly. Manning. I like the manly ones. A manly Rye is what I need. It's got to have a man's yeah. name on it. Yeah, that's how you know it's got quality in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We didn't have it. That, we didn't have it that, that kind right now. Oh. Is this the gay section of the liquor store? I'm sorry? Is this the gay section of the liquor store? Gay section? Yeah! The Star Liquor, beer and wine, downtown liquor store. It's not the gay liquor store? No. Oh! I'm not gonna find anything good there then. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, well, Nunu always begs me to ask about the gay section of whatever. So, That's there you go. I turn it around. Choice. I turn it around and I say, <laughs> look, there, there's n if you, it's not the gay section, it's not gonna be good. You know? There you go. Because <laughs> Nunu just wants uh, people to get angry, but I think it's funnier to, to turn things on people's He wants to mock times. gays. Yeah. He lacks cooth. Yes. So, we will turn things on Nunu and, uh, you know, make him wish he hadn't requested things. I don't know. I made myself a nice breakfast of uh, eggs and bacon that I overcooked. Not good. Yeah, hi. Uh, hi. What do you got to soak up for... Uh, for me, because I had the eggs and the and the bacon and the bread, but I need something to soak it up, you know? You I need second. to soak it up with something. Give me one second. Okay. One. Nancy's. Hi, Nancy. How you doing, honey baby? Who's this? Oh, this is Frankie. How you how you doing? How you pussy flip? Uh, let me try Nunu's number here. We lost the patient. <laughs> I didn't even get to the bad part either. <laughs> Damn it. What? Oh my god. It, what? It copied the whole entire thing that Nunu sent me instead of the number. That's new. <clears throat> that's, that's good. Let's try this. It's an Indian takeaway, apparently. The way that this show runs is I try and run as many fucking calls as possible as quickly as possible. Um, and sometimes that that ends good. This is a typical Nunu number. It doesn't answer. It's not even that late over there. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm here on holiday. Uh, I was wondering if I could get a takeaway curry. Uh, where are you calling from, mate? Oh, I'm just down the street here. I'm I'm in a hotel, but I I have which a hotel? hankering for a, for a chicken vindaloo. Yeah, which hotel? Oh, this one. You know, my wife booked it. I don't I don't know. I'm not really paying attention. You know, we're just on holiday. We wanted to get out of the states because of you know that Thanksgiving thing. It's scary. Yeah. People go crazy. But I've got a hankering mm -hmm. for a chicken vindaloo. Mm-hmm. Have you got chicken vindaloo? Uh, yeah, we got chicken vindaloo. Are you coming down to pick it up or? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come down there. Yeah, I heard your place was uh, was very filthy. 
And that's the kind of food I want. I want filthy food, not clean food. My friend told me. <laughs> well, at least it answered. So that's a new number that actually answered. That's a first. Um, but wow, amazing. they weren't happy about the filthy part. But like, okay, when I was growing up, there was a place that was known to be filthy. They were constantly getting closed down by the health department, but they made the best fucking cheesesteaks in, you know, the whole fucking area. So <clears throat> people would go and eat there. And, you know, as long as you didn't see a mouse crawling around while you were in the shop, it was probably fine. But you wouldn't want to get there. Unless you know, they stole late your shimmy off your plate. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't want to go there late at night, like right before closing, because there were probably mice like on the fucking grill being grilled with the rest of the food. I mean, <laughs> people knew about this. It was notorious. But um, up until about 15 years ago, it was the greatest place for cheesesteaks, and now it's a shithole because it became really filthy. It became beyond filthy. And Nunu says, I think he will get mad if you call back. And I agree. And that's what I was about to do anyway. <clears throat> what you are trying to reach is not uh -oh. accepting calls at this time. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we closed down he the shop. Angry. <laughs> they, they're he no longer the in business. <laughs> Perfect. I think we did our job. Uh, we can move on. We can see about... Uh, Let's see about these. Are, this is a bar in in New York City. They're all open right now. It's so fucking early for bars to be bo doing booming service. I think, but they're just not closed yet. I don't drink very much, so I've had a horrible Hello, toothache. Hello, Broom Street. How can I help you? Hi, I've got a horrible toothache. What do you recommend when I get there in terms of like a drink to numb the pain? Are you serious? Am I talking to a serious person? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I ate last night. My teeth have been hurting quite fierce. And I, I just want to see if you got something strong to numb the pain. Because I ain't got money for a dentist. You see. Is this a joke? <laughs> oh, God, no. No. I've been in pure agony the last week. Yeah. All right. Well, Popping if you come in, maybe pain I can pills. help you. All right. Okay, you help All me right. with my trousers. They're okay, they're down. I need to go. Bye bye. My trousers are missing. All right. <laughs> You're not wearing your rubber pants. <laughs> no. They came off in the subway, and then someone stole them off my body while I was sleeping. <clears throat> it's better than yeah. losing your life. Told least, them you'd now. loan them to somebody yeah. just for a drink. I think people are looking at the caller ID. I think that might be the issue. Horse, why, cat. Uh, Milkman, you want to do a call? Oh, town. Hello? Hello? Hi, how can I help Out you? Here. Yeah, I got a terrible toothache here. I want to find out what kind of potions you got cooking over there to help me out with this toothache. I come all over there. Mm. It's hurting right here. You know, right in this, we lost like, her. This tooth here. <laughs> we lost her. <laughs> um, uh, something's happening over here. There's ice involved and water and smoke and flame. Oh no! She didn't want to look at my tooth. I was pointing to see, and she didn't want to look at it. Can we, do, we should do magic in the bathtub at like a motel somewhere. I don't know what kind of magic we're gonna do in the bathtub, but that's up to you and me. Wow! I, someone's like zoom zooming their like grass cutting like as fast or as what the fuck? Where is this? Oh, I've never called this area. I thought it was calling something else, but the, the same town name, so that works. That'll work. Let's see. It's a one-star hotel. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mr. Fuzzy there. Your line's horrible. Uh... We're doing magic in the bathtub. We made a little boo-boo. 
Uh, my son, he, he, he got those Orbeez that they inflate in the water, and they're going down the drain. Okay. I told him, don't do that, don't do that. And then he started flushing them in the toilet, and that started overflowing. And he put some on the sink drain, too, and that's now that's overflowing. Uh, the remote control float is floating by. What do I do? We can call the plumbers right now and have them sent right over to you. All right. How much am I going to owe you? Is it just what they charge? Oh, most definitely. Uh, what room number are you? It's 215. 215. Okie dokie. Well, everything is wet. My son also wet his pants. Okay. Uh, now that's all, it's all wet in here. I could uh, take you some towels right away. Oh, would you? That, that'd be so kind of you. Okay, Daddy, okay. I can't swim. That's all right, son. Get on the bed. It's getting deep. It's all over my, over my belly now. Just all, piss in the water, guard. son. It's like a global toilet in here. Call the lifeguard, Dad. <laughs> Something's gone horribly wrong. I can't swim. This prank is, has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Have a good you night. You told me one Have of those day, rings. Man. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Eh, I'll take it. It's fine. He had yeah. a good chuckle. That's all that matters. Yeah. That's what I. That's my goal. It was in fun all this. for all. Fun for kids of all <laughs> I, ages. I Little hold kids it like me. And big kids like Thank me. Thank you for calling. La Quinta Inn and Suite. Uh, by window. That's two or five. Corpus Christi, Portland. Oh. Uh, oh. Thank you for calling La Quinta oh, Inn and Suites. Corpus Christi, Portland. Okay, for how many times are you going to say one. it? For directions, zero. press two. Is it five? It's zero. It's a two and then a zero. So it went into a global system there and then fell out. Oh, Nunu has another number, has failed two health inspections. They keep food equipment near the toilet. Perfect. Get right on that. Oh. Thank you for calling La Quinta. This is Kathy. I cannot help you. Hi. Uh, we're here in the room. Um, well, we're not really, we're not staying here. We're here with uh, someone we met last night at Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. I don't know their name and I don't know the number here. Uh, I'm blind, um, uh -huh. but they've got me uh, tied to the bed here, and I don't think they're here anymore. Okay. Uh, I managed so, to uh, to get the machine, the phone, to dial where it thought I was. I've been calling every hotel in the area for the last uh, three hours, trying to find if I'm in the right one. Okay, so do you, this is a La Quinta in Portland. Have you been in yeah. Portland? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Portland, yeah. Okay, by any chance, do you know the name of them? No, no, they didn't tell me their name. They said they're Mr. and Mrs. Secret. Okay, I'm sorry. In this case, I cannot help you. Sorry about that. Have a great day. Well, what, what do I do? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought they were going to look up the name, the last name. Shit. <coughs> I guess I'm expecting too much. You didn't much. want to deal with this. No. Right. <laughs> Blind man is expecting too much. Um, a couple months ago, I went and had my eyes checked. I hadn't ch had them checked in like four years. Uh, I need new glasses, but my prescription is not uh, that terrible. And uh, the prescription that they gave me at the end of it was so ridiculous and fucked up. They're like, oh... It was just a ridiculous, uh, the whole situation. Like, oh, well, you need to have your eyes cut open and have your lenses replaced because there's something horribly wrong. You know, scare tactics. Scare tactics, you know. Um, but no, what they did was the prescription they gave me was like, you know, a 1,000% increase in everything, in every direction. 
and I don't need that. I just want 10 to 15 percent more. Like that's it. I don't want a thousand percent or two thousand percent. That's fucking insane. Why would you do that? But apparently, you that's, can burn the hair off of a hair follicle. <laughs> effectively, they're just trying to, you know, uh, force people to get unnecessary surgeries. That, that's what they're doing at the end of the day. They want to sell fire starters, binoculars attached yeah. to your face. Well, they want to just <laughs> cut into your eyes and cause you problems. They're lifelong problems. They'll never get resolved. You'll always have susceptibility to infection of the eyes if you you get into that shit. They, and you don't need to do that, but, you know, if you don't do your own research or, or you know, be educated about your body and shit, you're doomed to fuck yourself. And I already fucked myself. I was over 600 pounds at one point. Down to 350 now, but, you know, I did a lot of damage. Yeah. Hi, I'm here with my father, and we're driving, and we're wondering if you have any rooms for tonight. Yes, the rate is 95. Okay, and are they conjoined beds or are they separate beds? Uh, it's, uh, it's just, it's no conjoined, no. Oh, can we push them together? I want to be close no. to my father. Oh. No, no, no they, 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 yeah, they won't go close together. Um, okay, can we, can we put, like, cots between them? Cot no, there's not enough space for it. Uh, we want to build a bridge between Ask our him beds. if they got room for my rascal scooter in the room there. I can't leave it outside. Can we Hear put the rascal pallet. scooter inside? Is there any room for that? Any what? Room for the rascal scooter? What, what, what is that? I'm sorry. It's a mobility device for uh, people that have uh, poor mobility with their legs. So they ride. Uh, that's how machine. I move around. I think I think it would I think it would probably fit in the room. Okay, then we can put a board over it, and we can put blankets over the board, and then we can play night crawlers, Dad. Sounds like okay. fun. All right. Tell him we'll take it. All right, we'll be there in a half hour. Is it okay we come to book now or later? It's at three o'clock. Okay, then we'll come at three o'clock. Okay. And we'll come at 3 o'clock in the uh, morning, too. If Horsey Cat can stay in our room with this. Yeah, can we, we bring our Horsey Cat? cat? No, uh, no, I'm sorry. It's a stuffed what animal. The pee? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. How much for a, a stuffed animal fee for the Horsey Cat? How much they're charging? No, no, nothing for the stuffed animal. I want to ride on the horsey cat, Dad. Yeah, take a ride on the horsey cat. Horsey cat, horsey cat. The horse with the cat's face. Oh. Okay, we'll be there soon. Three o'clock. And then we'll ride on the horsey cat together. And I'll show you my horsey cat, and you can show me yours. Right, Dad? Yes, yes, you can touch it. Tell the young man he can come up and help us in, and we'll allow him to touch the horsey cat. He's famous. Would you like to touch it, bud? You can touch it. We don't charge nothing. We can take a ride on the horsey cat all around the room. I'll chase you with my rascal scooter, dude. <laughs> and we'll play night crawlers. You want to play night crawlers with us? To hide first. He gets to be the first one to hide. Yeah. Okay, bye. We have to go. Uh, there's a car in front of us that's causing a problem. Okay, I think I think we're okay now. Oh, oh God! Oh God! Ah! 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 
Oh. Dad, are you okay? Dad? I'm off my rascal scooter. Oh. Okay, we have to go and cover oh, up. Like, cover up it the. tickled bad. The, the metal here. We have to go. We'll let you go, okay? The horsey cat. The horsey cat. Oh, God. He can't run over. Horsey <laughs> <laughs> He hung on for he's ever way going. too long. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> took me a minute to find the, the sound effects. I was like, where the fuck did it go? It was literally two sound effects away from something I had highlighted from days ago, so that was good. Oh, the chicken clucking is what I had highlighted, you know. This thing. Yeah. And then I also had this. The horns and all of the fun stuff. Here's some new new numbers. Let's see how this is going. The number you have dialed is not ah, in service. Perfect. Thank you, Nunu. Yes. That's Back on the, track. But I have one more from him. Uh, he says, No soap for washing hands and zero hygiene rating. He wants us to do Carlito's uh, premise of teaching them what soap is and then try to sell them some. That's not a bad idea. That might work. Hey, it actually worked. Maybe. We're halfway there, Nunu. Hello? Hello there. Hello? Yes, hello there. How are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. Yes, I, I was wondering if you if you know what soap is. Order. Yes, uh, the food. Yeah, you yeah. Have, food. Yes, have you Which got uh, goat curry? A cur curry of Vindaloo. Hold on, please. Oh, yes, I'm holding. Yes, I'm holding onto the soap. One second, yes. one second. Yes, one bunch of second, yes. I've got here. I've hello. Got here, right. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes. Help you, please. Yes, you have the Vindaloo. Vindaloo, yeah. Would yes, you, you got. Uh, what have you got for meats? A goat? Why you want chicken or meat? Yes, a chicken, yes. Yes, chicken. one chicken Vindaloo with uh, added filth and soap. Have you got soap there to wash no. the hands? No, no. Yes, I heard from a friend you, you haven't got soap there. Now, I can sell you soap. I sell soap. I make it myself in my bathtub at home here. In my flat. I can sell you soap. Okay, uh, our manager not there. Can you please call back after the half and half an hour? Oh yes, yes. I'll make a note of it. It's right here in my notebook. Yes, I'll give you a call right, right in a half an hour. Half past. Thank uh, you. Yes, yes. All right. I don't know what voice that is. I tried for something that was mid-range. I don't know if I like <laughs> it. It felt like it this. Was viable. It felt like that. <laughs> Didn't sound um, too hard to make. Didn't rip no, your throat out. I of figured hope. they might actually understand me, which was a big positive. Yeah, stick you know? with that one. Yeah, yeah that one's easier to uh, comprehend and don't destroy your voice. Yeah, because if I do uh, the old Bertrand voice, uh, let's see if I can you know, yeah. reach it. Yes, yes, you can yes. Only yes. get a couple of Miriams. It's yeah. <laughs> that'll be. Uh, I'll be. I'll be dead. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for calling the Hampton Inn and Suites. We'll call in back Texas. in a half hour on that other thing. Uh, I think set me alarm. Yeah. Here, you want to try this? Thank you for calling the Hampton Inn and Suites. This is Brittany. How can I help you? Hi, Brittany. How are you doing? Good. How are you? 
Oh, fantastic. It, um, we were staying in the hotel just the other day, and my son, he has his favorite pet, and when we was getting out and getting out of the car, we was jumped out of the car, and I wanted to find out if you have seen him, or is it turned into lost and found? It's a horsey cat, and he goes by the name of Carl. What room were you in? Do you remember? Uh, I'm not in a room right now. I'm calling back because my son has been so upset. He can't find his horsey cat, Carl. Have you seen him around there? He might be outside. No, sir. There's nothing outside. We haven't been told of anything. Oh, no, no, no. I was just telling you now that my son, he was there just before Thanksgiving, and he left his horsey cat there. It got out and got away. His name's Carl. We call him Carlito for short. Could you could you call out for him and ask, Carlito, Carlito, he may come running. If he, if he can, we'll come right over there. And we'll offer a reward, too. I think she... <laughs> She lost it when you said his name is Carl. We call him Carlito for short. And I'm yeah. just hearing that. I'm going, oh no. <laughs> we just lost her. She's done. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's for the Hermano. Bless yeah. his heart. I know he's up here chuckling. So. <laughs> One for the old big guy. <laughs> Oh, it's it's all it's all for you know remembering him uh, the, the horsey cat was something that you guys came up with and then throughout all of Thanksgiving 2013 every single show kept doing horsey cat calls and so it became a thing and so by the end of it that's why I ended up buying you know um, like a domain and setting up a website and shit and it was solely to you know commemorate Thanksgiving 2013's uh, activities, you know, festivities. It was really a yeah. community thing, and um, I wish I wish the community was more like that. You know, a little bit more. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fiddling with water and bags and, and ice cubes. And yeah, turn to water. That was a good thing. That was out. kind of the intention was to get all different people involved, and also sort of a thank you for everybody. For it being along, come along, putting up with all of our silliness over the years. It actually extended into a Christmas thing and started being requested yeah. for Christmas toys. <laughs> and then uh, in 2017, the Catacorn arrived on store shelves, and Carlito found out and he started doing Catacorn calls because they basically <laughs> stole the whole idea, which uh, the Catacorn is say, a, yeah. it's a stuffed cat that has a unicorn horn. That's all it is. <laughs> And it became something that was a hot selling item at like Target and uh, for 2017. We, it was bizarre. We called everywhere asking about horsey cat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Somebody told on us. It yeah. actually made some. They attached a horn instead of the penis. Yeah, they had to make it kid safe, so they they gave it a unicorn. Yeah. It doesn't make they it, put it, it on lick the a face. sense, but you know. <laughs> Does it have to make sense to sell it? No. No. I would love to know <laughs> well, why they're, love it. they're trying to, like... There's no leaves left. And I don't know what the hell the landscapers are doing. It's just... Let's burn fossil fuels. <laughs> let's burn things that cost money for no reason. Sure. Um, it's a right, drone. Let's move on. Use that, use that sound outside as a drone. <laughs> It's cold outside. Everything's frozen. Why the fuck are they trying to cut the lawns? It's just... What a waste. Be, be responsible with your... Farts. Fart. Hello? Hello? Hello, fart! Okay. I guess they don't want to be responsible with anything. Alright, let's uh, move on to something else. Oh, where do you think would be angry at this hour? It's not... It's not really that early anymore in, like, California, but I could definitely... Uh, let's, let's do, let's do that. Oh, okay, maybe Anybody who's been putting up with Black Friday crap would probably be pretty wound up now. Yeah. 
Okay, we'll try this. I haven't called this area. No, wait, what the fuck? Uh-huh. Can still hear the, the yeah, I can. I can hear the drone. Uh, the drone, oh. Kind of sounds like a tea kettle's ready to boil. Yeah, it's uh, the heat, the heat's on. Despite the fact that it's really not cold in here, but it's whatever. What am I going to do? I have all the uh, vents closed because I hate Thank heat. you for calling like Freehand Los Angeles. If you are calling for hotel-related oh. information or to make an Wait. individual no, reservation... that's not the right area. Hold on. What the hell? Hmm. It, uh... It changed... What the fuck? That was weird. Okay. Love it when things don't work right. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and then there's also the other background noise that the landscapers fucking losing their shit. What I think I'm hearing. Yeah, the machines are just they're just running the machines over frozen you know grass that's Hi Wyndham, this is Bobby. How can Hi. I help you? Bobby? Yes. How are you formed? I'm sorry? How were you formed? From my parents, I guess? Yeah, that's the right answer. Okay, have a good night. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How was Babby formed? <laughs> she liked that. Uh, Babby get the gold if star I out. Right, ding, ding. When Yahoo Answers came gotta... about, that was a question on Yahoo Answers. Was Someone asked, How is Babby <laughs> formed? B A B B Y. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah. I like that she gave got the an gold actual star answer. sound effect. She gave an answer Blew and she one. didn't hang Ding. up. So yeah. that was awesome. There we go. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, Thank you for calling. If you are looking to make a room reservation, please press oh. one. For billing inquiries, no. press two. For all other questions or assistance, press yeah. three or remain oh. on the. What are we what are we having an issue with? Please remain on the line while we transfer your call. <laughs> Toilets clogged. <laughs> Leftovers. <laughs> Leftover yeah. Thanksgiving or I gotta find the sound effect. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have it. I think only Dwight has it. Uh and make that fake toilet sound. <laughs> Maybe it's Put me to sleep. Yeah, you are gone to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's no too much. Thanksgiving next. Because I woke up, I didn't sleep much. Uh, I didn't sleep well either. <coughs> That's not quite true. I just didn't. I didn't get enough sleep, so I, I was uh, really awakened by Jayad this morning, rudely. And then we did Context things. straight so, out. Oh, I lost. I lost some files here. I lost the vapor sound effect. I had to find that again. Uh, okay, let's try, let's try this, and, because this will have a 215, I have it in my notes that all of these hotels, this particular chain has 215 as a room. Hello, and thank you for calling Motel uh, 6, Las Vegas. Yeah. So, California you know. consumers, to learn about what personal information we collect and how we use it, please see our privacy policy at motel6.com. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, California consumers, for that. This call may contain asbestos. <laughs> or lead. Hi, uh, my son, he, is, you know, he, uh, he was driving with me in the car, and we were looking outside our window, and we saw that there was stuffed animals in the parking lot that were being run over. There's stuffed animals in the parking lot? Yeah, or at least I think I'm just, they're stuffed. Okay. okay. I'll have them and go pick it up. they were talking to us, and they were horsey cats. <laughs> oh, okay. They ran over the horsey cat. <laughs> I, I didn't really have a premise at all. <laughs> I didn't either. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh. But, uh, 
Do you think? Let her rip. Hey, maybe. Okay, maybe. Maybe this will help. Uh, maybe. Probably not, but maybe this will help me make more coherent decisions. If I dial a number and just start the call with a bong rip, that might work. I was gonna say a bong rip might do it. That's exactly what I'm trying. Oh, that one's busy. Okay. Put it right in the microphone. Bong. Let's try something else. Uh, Nuna's got a number here. Uh, it's not sure if the owner's still alive or not. <laughs> Says, uh, I'm not even sure Nunu's actually alive. He's a I think Nunu bot. might be an AI. Yeah, I think he might actually be a bot. Um, yeah, uh, this is a pizza takeaway. All brings... circuits are busy nope. now. Please. Nope, it did not like the phone number. It did not dial the number. Tickle, tickle, tickle. It said no. Um. Let me go looking. Where did my other numbers go? Oh, hold on a second here. Okay. Uh, actually, no. Think here. My brain is not really working that coherently today. <laughs> Lack of sleep and um, early, yeah, early morning shenanigans. And Dwight called. Uh, he called Worf from Data's cell phone number last night, and then he also called Danny Glover, the actor, um, and then Danny Glover called back and spoke to the concern bot, but then he put the phone in his pocket, and I had to kill the call remotely, so that was fun. <laughs> Dear Danny, I love Danny. I Poor met him. Guy. He's a kind man. Uh, we can try. Uh, let's see if we can talk to some art museum people. Maybe. Thank know. you for calling the Walters Art Museum, where admission is always free. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it now. The museum is located at 600 North ah! Charles Street. Everyone can look it up anyway, so it's just blah. You know, how much you is it to get in into the free you. museum? The operator. We need to ask him how much it is to get in. How much is the museum? If you're listening to the show, you can find our edited shows at... Im Thank you for calling the Walters Art Museum. Okay. Immoralhole.com. That's uh, I'm moral whole com. It's sort of a joke. It's, it's a stupid, horrible play on words, but sometimes it works. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. You're in the party hole. I have an idea of where to call. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. It's 800 number. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe I can find the local number that's not an 800 number. Because I'm pretty sure this particular thing has such a thing. Uh, but the number that they list out there. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. Here's the number. I knew there would be one. There's this one, and then there's other ones. Perfect. Uh, it's a museum, but it's a museum that you can ride in. The number you have dialed is oh, not in... Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see if the, the toy and gift shop is, is a working number. That's weird. Yeah. Maybe they have the mechanical horsey cat that you can ride on. Yeah. Electrified. <coughs> no, steam-powered. With coal. Mm. This should be open. Damn. The person you are trying to reach is unavailable. Oh, leave, voicemail. <laughs> leave your message at the tone. Press pound when finished. Uh, my son has a question about your horsey cat uh, steam locomotive. If you could give me a call back at this number right away, that'd be great. I was promising him for Black Friday I'd get it because money's tight, and I figured you'd have some sort of deal on the horsey cat. If you give me a call back as soon as possible, that'd be great. Thanks a lot. To listen to your message, press 1. To record your message, press 2. 
To cancel and not leave a message, press 3. To no. leave your message, hang up now. Oh, okay. There's no high priority. Okay, perfect. Maybe <laughs> Downy. <they'll> call back. <laughs> yeah. Downy's a sad character. <laughs> uh, you turn your frown upside down. Yeah. Let's see. Let's try... Oh, that could be interesting. Here's a... Recreation. Uh, yeah, okay, this might be perfect. This is, um, um, this could be good. This could be good. I just typed in something Thank random. You. Hello? Hi, I was wondering when we get there, is all right if we're Hello? drinking? Hello? 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 Well, they have uh, anti-spam. Anti-spam, and they can't hear us. Ooh. Yeah, so we'll just have to just keep going. We'll find something to answer. And not have any 21st century amenities. <laughs> I thought that place wouldn't have amenities because it was um, like a ghost town type of place. Hello, this is Stephanie with the Museum at Prairie Fire. We're open from now till 5. Okay. Uh, is it alright if I bring my kids there? Yep. All right, so it's it's kid friendly. Yep. Is it is it mother approved though? Yes. Ah, oh, see that's the problem. I don't want no mothers involved. She ruined my life. Mm. Is there anything else I can help you with? How do you make money? How do you money make? Is it donations? Um. We mm -hmm. do uh, ticket purchases to go up to the Discovery Room and to the Virtual Reality. What can I discover up there? Is it for kids or for adults? For kids, there's live animals, uh, small hands-on exhibits, puzzles, and other activities. Do you discover where you came from? Uh, you learn about different forms of science. Right. Does that include the mothering part? Because I can't have none of the mothering part. She ruined my life. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, you haven't asked. You haven't answered any of my questions. Let me see if I can find someone who can answer your question. Okay. All right, but no mothers. All right. Let me put you on hold. She ruined my life. I don't think they're coming back. <laughs> I think they all cracked up. I don't think they're they're gonna even try. <laughs> Crunching the chips and see what the hell they would do. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to infer that the the wife was the bitch, not you know, wi not women or mothers in general, but and, and then she talks about the animals, so of course I go well, you know. Are they showing how like a baby like baby animals are born? Well, there's science. <laughs> that doesn't really answer my question. Check your cloaca. Yeah, you know what? Okay, that's what we're doing now. Something about cloacas. You got the turkey cloaca for me to ex examine. Yeah, let me try this number instead, because the name of this place is kind of funny. Maybe they. <laughs> Maybe they have, uh, they have something. I'll, I'll tell you in a moment if it doesn't just say it. Museum of World Treasures, how can I help you? Hi, have you got the turkey cloaca? Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Uh, one of the items on display, is it the turkey cloaca? Um, I'm actually not sure. I'm not uh, super experted in the uh, things we have on display. We got a lot of stuff out there, so. Do you have a list? Uh, again, we got a lot of stuff out there, so. Um, I you if you wanted to is come a, in and take a look. Is it a touching can, or a, or a museum? I got kids uh, with me. 
All of our items are protected, well, for the most part, all of our items are protected by plexiglass. It's not really a, um, we don't uh, allow guests to touch anything. All right, because it says here in the brochure it's hands-on. We have interactives space station throughout the exhibits, but our actual artifacts are not uh, for the public to, to grab. Well, that's not hands-on, that's hands-off. Well, that's false well, advertising. I didn't make the brochure, man. All right, well, you get me in touch with your marketing department so we can fix that. Or they, uh, you're liable at, for things. It's marketing at worldtreasures.org. All right, that's where I'm headed. Well, how do I get there? What's the address? It's an email address, sir. Well, what's the, the street address? Our museum is uh, 835. No, not the museum. Your marketing department. We are in. I gotta fix operations. this right now. We gotta we fix it right now. Sir. We gotta. <laughs> it does actually say hands on, uh, like shit, and yeah, it's actually incorrect. There we go. I'm not sure that I made that person's life any better, <laughs> but maybe it was. It's better than it was when we got there. A little bit. I don't know. They're gonna. Hopefully, they don't have any asshole like me ever again. Call, you know. Maybe that's the worst call of the whole day. I just hope that's the case. I hope that's the worst thing that happens. You know. Learn a little bit more about it, Chuck. This has been. Chod, hello. Okay. I think that might have been another situation where it doesn't. You know, they don't hear us. Just move on. Major Thank you for it's calling not... the National World War One Museum uh, and Memorial. Uh, uh, we will be closed on Thursday, uh, November twenty third. In a... All right. Let's see here. Friday. Oh, this one's uh, okay. So it's not an eight hundred number, and they have things from that movie where um, it was a brick road of some sort, and uh, a stupid dog, and a stupid uh, bunch of ladies, and and p creatures. And the Oz Museum of Columbia Theater. This is Molly. How may I help you? Hi. Have you got any yellow bricks there? We do not. Oh. Have you got the little persons? Like the, the costumes? Oh, yeah. yeah we, do. we do have a couple of the Munchkins costumes in the museum. Can my son try it on? No. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try. You oompa dad. <laughs> is Willie there? Alright. <laughs> is Mr. Oz there? I need to inspect his peephole. What was that? Dog. Mr. Oz! <laughs> no, he's not here yet. All right. Son, you got any more questions yeah, the for the lady? You, you, you ask her if she has the little dog. We could Toto. We could pet him. I love a little dog. Do you He's like so the rains in Africa? We do have a sign that yeah. says, I miss the rains down in Africa. There it is. That's what we're going to get, son. <laughs> oh, yay. Take I it right pet out of Toto. there. Yeah. Can I pet her toe toe? No. No. It's all fuzzy. It's soft. All right, we I gotta go. He's getting all irritable and such. We gotta give him his medicine. <laughs> all right, well, have a good day. <laughs> We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> I wanna go now. Let me straws. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, there's a tornado! <laughs> Oh God's taking us No Oh, We're not in the house anymore! <laughs>
somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow. <laughs> Sorry, that took me forever to find the damn sound effect again. I think I'd have Beautiful it timing. lined up, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, just so. before she was ready to click off, she got interested again. <laughs> I've been wanting to call these stupid places, uh, these museums and shit, for the longest time, but I do the show so late at night, they're always closed. So... That one I had yeah. in my list of things to call. I never had a plan for what to say or do, but I figured no. something would happen organically and we'll figure it out when the time comes. Yeah. Whoa, why is that gaining? Good afternoon, Ken City Auto Museum. How can I help you? Hi, what cars you got there? <laughs> well, about 35, 30. We right, have what makes our muscle cars? Um, well, we have a 1911 Ford. We have a 1921 Essex. We have a 25 Jordan, a 30 Chevy, a 2020. Um, ew, ew, that's gross. Well, I don't think we have any muscle cars on the floor right now. You got no Model A? I got a Model A. A 30 Model A, in fact. We don't have a Model A on the floor, either. Oh. We have uh, a little more wide variety than you might expect. You got a uh, 1960s, like early 60s uh, Chevelle. You're asking about American cars only. We have a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this is America. We have an early 60s Jag in here. No, that's not American. A, that, no, no, no. We have no. a 50... That's disgusting. Even we have an... E I don't think we have anything you want to see. You, you don't have American vehicles in America. Yeah, we do. But I haven't well, got... Just a place. handful. But the rest of them's from some foreigner's place. Well, we their roads the aren't even Chevy the same. I'm looking at, I'm looking at a uh, '57 Chevy, a '56 uh, Packard, a. 60 yeah, my mother Chevy. was conceived in the back of a Packard. We're looking at a '60 uh, Corvette. Um, all right. All right. See, we have a twenty. I'm the proud owner of a '64 Chevelle. Well, four door Chevelles, we don't have any. Well, how we about I give any. you mine? It's just it's such a boat, you know. That's the one good thing about those foreign cars; they're slim and sleek and more efficient. Well, do you still live in Tennessee? Yes, I do. It's going to be a little hard to get in here today anyway, isn't it? Well, I'm here in the hotel. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Well, why don't you come on over and uh, see if you can find anything you like in here. Well, I'm sure there's something I like. It's just I'm not sure I like you. Well, that's understandable. A lot of people don't like me. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry. Yep. Well, then I'll, I'll avoid you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do, upset you. I'm not I didn't really mean to upset, upset you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm my son's going to be so upset with me. He's going to be so cross. Oh, he wanted to go to your museum. <laughs> well, I want to see Michael Jordan. We're going to get there, son. He said they had Michael Jordan there today. Hey. Want to get his autograph, my auto, my basketball. Nobody is going to get there. Michael Jordan here. Well, I said here on the flyer. Is here no. Michael Jordan? Kansas he City was... Automotive Museum with Michael Jordan Black Friday. Nope. Yeah. Well, we got it here at the truck stop. There was a flyer in the fax machine. Well, you bring that thing by here, and I'll get Michael Jordan in for you, but I need to see the flyer first. All right. I'll be there. Oh, in, yeah. Uh, we yeah. can get there in an hour. 
All right. Can he sign my basketball? Bye-bye. Ask him if he can sign my basketball. All right. We're going to do it. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. He all. said Jordan 25, so I said Michael Jordan. Oh, okay. I missed that. I, I totally missed that. Okay. Yeah, um, okay. It's time to call back Vindaloo. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about Vindaloo. That's what that beeping was. Ah, it's time for chicken vindaloo, if I remember right. We're almost, uh, well, let's see. We got, um, we're, what, an hour and a half in? Okay, we're about Agreed. halfway through. Oh, busy. We shut down the chicken vindaloo place, apparently. <laughs> All right. Yeah, call back in a half hour. That's when we turn the phones off, probably. Yeah. Um... I like I like calling museums and finding out stuff about them. So let's try and get them to tell us everything about the museum that they can. They can name every single display, so yeah. we don't actually have to go in. Exactly. I don't think anyone else is calling museums. So if anyone wants to take this idea, fucking run with it. Hello. Hello. Museum said historic site. Grady Atwater. Hi. I have questions about the museum. How can I help you? What sort of artifacts do you have? Oh, we have we have one very, very big one. We have the uh, cabin of Reverend Samuel Adair and his wife Florella Florella inside of a stone pergola which is uh, which John Brown's headquarters while he was here in Kansas Territory. Uh, we have multiple items of the were owned by John Brown, used by John Brown, and uh, you other, have his uh, toilet, uh, or outhouse. No, I don't know. Oh. Uh, well, I do have a restroom, but we don't have his outhouse. That's unfortunate. You can learn a lot about a man's out la outhouse. You know, uh, what he yes likes to can. read, what he uh -huh. likes to do when he's by himself, whittling around, mm -hmm. you know, with his, with his fingers and his ass. Uh -huh. Wiggling. Oh, yeah. You can learn a lot. Absolutely. Uh huh. What else you got? Well, uh, we have uh, one of the uh, pikes that John Brown had. Um, uh, used, uh, it was going to give to the slave, the enslaved African Americans for when they fought for freedom. We have one of his hats, we have one of his holsters. Um, let's see, we have a saddle that he used and multiple rifles that he had. What kind of character was this John Brown? Uh, John Brown was a, um, abolitionist. He was, um, of course, like all of us, he had his faults. Um, he was, um, he was, af he was completely dedicated to the African, to the, to freeing African Americans from slavery. All right. I was worried it was the other way around. I was very concerned for what I just called. Uh, nope. He's uh, he is he was very much against slavery. All right, good. I just want to mm -hmm. be sure I didn't call the wrong place. You know. You felt you called the right place. All right. It's good for kids. I can bring them. Good for kids. You can bring the kids. All right. We'll teach them right. Absolutely. All right. And what, what, uh, yeah, they, they got Girl Scout cookies too with their brownies. No, it's not that kind of place. Cookies. Hello? I, I, you have Girl Scout cookies? I ain't chance. No, we don't have Girl Scout cookies. Uh. Uh, you have a cafeteria or no? No, we don't have a cafeteria, but we do have a nice restaurant in town you can go visit. All right, perfect, perfect. Well, we'll get food before we go in because he's getting a little weird, you know? His blood sugar's down, and I think he's getting a little, little woozy. Brownies, then. Yeah, we'll get brownies at the get restaurant. We'll be good. All uh, right. Uh, well, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I want to thank you for your, for your help, and I'll see you in a little while. Looking forward to seeing you. All right. Uh, all right. Have a good one. I, I will. Thank you, you John Brown. Well, you're welcome. Look forward to seeing y'all. All right. Bye. -bye. Bye. Can't wait. Uh, Perfect. I got a little scared there. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. What the hell is this? 
So I don't know. I'm calling the South. It, it could go yeah. either way. You know, I, I could. I, 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 the I'm right not word. trying to call the wrong things. You know, it's just the names of these places totally don't tell me. There's no information. Everything's freezing up now. Oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> Nunu has sent me a number. I think that's why it froze. I, didn't we just try to call this? Oh, we'll try this. Uh, let's see. Filthy takeaway. Open 30 years. Gets one star hygiene rating. They've been open since 1993, uh, but inspectors. But we just called them to hygiene. sell them soap. Yeah. That's who we just called back. This is a different one. But well, we'll do this. Oh. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Let me see if I can find that. We don't have Dwight because he's uh, full time working. Uh, Working monkey man. He makes the machines go. That's not going. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Nunu, for the phone number that surprisingly did not work. Yeah. Totally that's, that's in character. Surprise. It's a surprise for all of us. Uh, what was I looking up? Shit. I've forgotten. Well, that's good. I'm sure it was very important. Museums. No, it was, more than, it was not just museums. It was something else. I was looking for a file. and Oh, ring, ring. That's what I wanted. With Carlito saying ring, ring. Let's see. I don't, I don't know where I put the file. It's not there. It's not there. Uh, no. Uh, Dwight has a sound file. I don't. Great. Uh, would you like to ask about science? Because there's a science museum. Oh, yeah. Thank you for calling Science Museum, Oklahoma. Oh, One yeah, moment science while you museum. connect your call. Oh, yeah. You know what song museum. this is? Can I help you? Hello? Hello? Science Museum, Oklahoma. How can I help you? Hi. Hi. I'm here with my friend here. And we have questions about the museum. Um, okay. Is it is it meant for children more or, or adults? It is primarily a children's museum. A lot of it is... Oh, that's um, disgusting. That's disgusting. Geared towards younger kids. That's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Kids never wash their faces. They don't faces. wash their hands. They, you know, they have snot. They rub it on everything. They're disgusting. You know? oh, is it, we do have a pretty uh, big is, custodial team that is working throughout the museum all day. They must be, be full time. They're full time, aren't they? Uh, we do have a couple full timers. Yeah, because kids are disgusting. You know. Ew. Mm -hmm. Leaving their toys out. I'm always tripping over the, the Legos and I step on them in the middle of the night when it's dark. But so sore. I thought I'd broken a toe when I stepped on a Lego. But they're well, the kids. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, look at that. Yes, they do have s multiple full time custodians because kids are disgusting. It's so messy. It just, it's just Bless a mess. their hearts. They just make a mess, put everything in their mouth, touch it, finger it, try to tear it touch apart. It. That's, that's it. All kids are doing is constantly touching things, the things they don't need to be touching. Put my hand inside Leave this meat grinder. turkey cloaca alone, Sonny. Jesus. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Oh, jeez. If you know the name of the party Cowboy. you are looking for, please press 9 to search no, the directory. That, Jesus. Otherwise, a bad please stay on the speak. line for more options. You zero. may press, let me transfer you to the operator. Yeah. Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. This is Diana. How can I have the pleasure of helping you? Hi, do you have horsies there? Horsey cats? I'm so sorry. A horsey cat? What is a horsey cat? Oh, it's a horse uh, receptacle. 
you put around the belly of the horse and it holds its uh, appendage, you know, the fifth leg. It holds it up from the ground so it doesn't drag everywhere. Yeah. Um, it's a possibility. I'm going to say that this is a new question for me. So what was it called again? A horsey... A horsey cat. It's like two animals together. Um... Like horsey and cat go together. So... Oh, like a horse cat? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a cat with a horse's body. And a very large, uh, you know what, you know. Um, no, uh, I would have to say, without a shadow oh. of a doubt, I'm uh, pretty sure that we do not have a horse cat in the museum. No, a horsey cat. Yes, that one. Hor yeah, no, it's a horsey cat, not horse cat. Horsey cat. Yeah. Okay, like a live animal. No, no, no. It's a stuffed animal for kids. To teach them about oh. horses and how big their sexual organs are. Uh, no, I don't think we have one uh, on display in the galleries. I could transfer you to the museum store to see if they have one to sell. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's where I need to be. I th I'm yeah? sorry, I thought that's okay. where I reached. Oh, no worries, okay. let me transfer you, okay? Oh, perfect, thank you. You're a, de you're a dear. Thank you for calling the Persimmon Hill store at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Please stay on the line while we find the next available clerk. Uh, we to will. We you. need to find the horsey cat. <laughs> Made by Texas Peat Corporation. Where the hugest peats are found on your horsey cat. That's right, kids. Remember, Texas Peat. We're sorry we missed your call. Please stay on the line to leave a message and someone from oh, okay. the Persimmon Hill store will be in contact with you soon. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Hi, I was just calling to see if you had a horsey cat, a stuffed toy from my son. He loves the horse and cat and I just want him to learn about the horse's large sexual organs. And I understand that the horsey cat has such... <laughs> Uh, large sexual organs on it, but it has a cat's face. If you can give me a call back, and that's my son in the background. If you can give me a call back as soon as possible. What a horsey cat. Yeah, horsey cat horsey out. Horsey cat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I hope everyone's having fun listening to the show, listening to all the shows uh, that we we're all putting on. I've missed most of uh, like everything this morning. I got up at 9. Um, I was asleep by 3. Um, Dwight's show was great. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Uh, some ridiculous shit went down. Uh, as it usually does. We try and keep stuff, you know, fresh. And uh, I just want to honor Carlito and the 10th anniversary of Horsey Cat with a bunch of Horsey Cat nonsense. Um, <laughs> I think that's the right thing to do. And ten years is a long time, especially in the prank call game. So, big toy. It's a big toy with a big thing. Thank you for calling the Oklahoma City toy. National oh, Memorial and Museum. Please visit oh. memorialmuseum.com. No. Purchase your Talk tickets online. Talk to me like I a man. I did not recognize that as a valid no. entry. No. All right, fine. I give up. These are bone museums. If you have any questions about bones. <laughs> How big is the bone on a horse cat? Horse cat. So, thank you for calling Skeletons Museum of Osteology. For hours of operations, admission costs, oh, and directions, man. please remain on the line. Skeletons. Speak to our admissions desk. Just, please press 1. Oh, for God. Get a skeleton replacement. Let's see if I can just go to zero here and... This key Ask is them. not valid. Damn it. Please like try again. Replacement press skeleton. 1 and see what happens. You know, I'm just going to do this. Let's see what answers. One, Maybe. two, three, four, five, <laughs> oh, six, seven, eight, nine, zero is not a valid not extension. A valid... <laughs> Please yeah, try again. No. Uh, I Hello, don't know thank what... you for calling oh. Skeletons Museum of Osteology. For hours of operations, admission cost, and directions, uh -huh. please remain on the line. To speak to our admissions desk, please press 1. 
For education-related mm-hmm. questions, including... Let's try... Well, I'll try that and see if it goes. Your call is being transferred. Please hold. Oh, no. Never mind. I don't want it to go to a call okay. center. Um, and that's probably where it was headed. So let's just move on. Mm. The phone systems... At least it wasn't AI. We encountered one, um... Last week, it was just AI, and we just had to scream oh, at it. Center, Hello? How can I help? Hi, I like to scream at Bones. Is that something I can do there? I don't believe so. You have machines I can I can look at and inspect? Um, what kind of machines? Horse machines? Horse machines. I'm afraid I don't know, um... What machines to tame are. the horse, to, to take care of the horse, uh, no, the parts of the no horse. My history center? Who, who are you trying to reach? Well, I'm trying to reach the head horse. Okay, you've called the Oklahoma History Center, so I believe... Right, a history of horses in Oklahoma. No. Um, okay, I don't. we don't have an exhibit on that, and our research center is closed today. You might try calling back on... What's their research about horses? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. You would need to speak to someone. In oh, it's an animal and it has machines. It doesn't sound like you know anything about horses. What kind of museum is this? I'm going to recommend that you call back tomorrow if you want to speak to someone in the research center. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to assist you today. You have no horses? How about carriages? Horseless carriages? Um, can you call back tomorrow when the research center is open? Well, who are you? I am working at the admissions desk and in the museum store, so I can help you with admissions to the museum, and I can help you in the museum store. Alright, I'd like to admit something. I'm not really fond of, of horses. I was just wondering for my son's sake. That's my admission to you. I'd also like to admit that this is a prank phone call and I'm not doing a very good job. Did they sell a horse or cat? <laughs> uh, I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. It's just, I fell, I fell yeah. into a trap. And that was, I don't want to be yeah. here anymore. <laughs> he wasn't going to do anything. Call back, call I back, call this. back. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Delegation. Here. Nuna's got some weird looking number that doesn't look... That's not a real... I don't know where that is. Like, if that's a plus... I don't know what fucking country is plus 7-7. Seven, seven. That doesn't sound right to me. Dude, it's probably a US number. Be careful, because we can empty our account out. Yeah. Uh, like last night when Dwight was calling Guam and it was costing $3 to connect the call and then it was 60 cents a minute in addition. So we, we went through twelve dollars of credit in uh, twenty five minutes. That was a fun uh, thing to discover. <laughs> I just had this weird <laughs> inkling feeling in the back of my mind like something's wrong. It's costing way more than you think it is. I just had that just that sensation and like feeling, hey, something's up, you gotta check it. Uh, thank you for calling Circus Circus Hotel and Casino in Los Angeles. <coughs> Better assist you. Please listen closely. Please hold on while I try that yeah. extension. Let's get some. Oh, it's 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Located on the promenade level. Well, I'll try it, Nuno, in a minute. Gonna talk about the drone. Dr. Las Vegas, this is Penny. How may I direct your call? Penny. Uh, is Inspector Gadget there? Is who? Mr. Gadget Inspector, he's the inspector that I was dealing with with regard to the situation in the room. He said to call back. Um, I haven't spoke with you. What what situation and who were you supposed well, to speak to? The the inspector, Gadget, he told me to do all these things in the room. So uh, he ins- he told me that I had to smash the TV um, because it was a virus in the telephone. Does he not work for you? He said he worked for Sir, you. Sir, you've reached a business. Right. I'm in the hotel. 
And the man on the phone, he told me to what, do what things rumor, in the room. What room are you in? And I'll just send security up. Well, why are you going to send security up? Where's the inspector? So they can go, in, so they can go inspect the room. What room are you right, in? But, but wait, if, if I give you the room number, you're just going to send security up. And I don't want to deal with that. Well, like, sir, I, I was talking other, to a I man on the phone. Calls. I have other calls to, that are holding right, right now. Is the inspector I need to know your room called, number. We don't have an inspector gadget. Now, I can I can call security to go up because there's going to well, be... Well, maybe you speed. need to check your phones because he called me and he was calling for your number. He said that he worked for you. <laughs> Fucking inspector gadget. Because his uh, daughter or niece's name was Penny. That popped in my head. There's a little stupid tidbit of information catch. from like 35 years ago. Here, you need <laughs> this. No, I, I really don't. Why do I know this? I remember watching this stupid cartoon as a kid. Like we don't have an inspector gadget. Yeah. Let's see what this hotel Not very is enthusiastic. Today. No. Thank you for calling no the Golden Gate Hotel. You know, you may press zero at any time to be transferred to the office. Oh yeah. Please hold. Good morning, I'm calling Golden Gate. My name is Brady Anna. May I assist you? Hi. Um, we got a hey, phone call. Cool. Hello? What the fuck? Golden Gate Front Desk, how can I assist you? Hi, we got a phone call. Uh, some guy, he claimed that he was working for you at the front desk. And we're thinking maybe it was a lie the whole time. Um, he uh, made us do things in the room that... I'm thinking this is going to be ex an expensive stay now. What happened? Well, the man what said the that there was... Well, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather get to that at the end because it's quite a long story. I'm concerned for my safety. He said he worked for you. And then he said you got to smash the TV because there's a computer virus in it. And we can't send no one up there to do it for us. So we smashed the TV. Oh, that's a lot. And then they had my son defecate in the toilet. But then they said, oh, you got to pull it out, pull it out. So we, we did our best and we pulled it out. And then they said, okay, now you, you have to paint the room. So we did that because they said, you know, if we didn't do that, they were going to send security because we smashed the TV. And so then he goes on and says, well... Now we got to smash the mirrors because we can see you. And I thought, well, I don't want anyone to see you. So I smashed the mirrors. And everything's all right. I mean, I, I collected the glass and everything into the baggies so it wouldn't go anywhere. And, uh, well, we got a little suspicious at that point. So we asked him, well, what's the number of the hotel? Because he was just calling from an outside line, you see. And he says, oh, I don't know, I'm, uh, uh, but I'm working here. Uh, he said, just call the front desk. They'll, they'll take care of everything. Okay, what room number are you in? Well, that's the thing. He stole the room number on the way out. Hello? Hello? How could he looking to see if anybody's got a missing room number but, on their well, door. Well, <laughs> that or how the fuck could he, the man on the phone steal the number <laughs> on the way out? I was thinking of that too. <laughs> she got that or not. Either she caught it or... Or... Or ID maybe. Mm, yes, there's always that too. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello? Oh, good, you're there. I'm Where's on that? holiday. Yes, I'm on holiday. And I'd like to teach you what a mop is. You know what? A mop. Have you ever cleaned your mop? <laughs> Sorry, the toilet. <laughs> Shit, I missed what you wrote. I fucked it up. I was reading notes from other things that he sent me and had nothing to do with the phone number. The man was selling a toilet. Um, 
Yeah. Maybe we just say we need to make a poo in the loo. There's a plunger. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Uh oh, it's being forwarded. Hmm. I don't I don't like that. When it says that that worries me. Uh, it means that the the number's probably being reported Thank as spam. calling the Ellis Island Hotel, in the located at 4250 ah. Cobalt Lane. Coming up on the second hour. One more hour to go. Thank you for calling the Ellis Island Hotel. How can I help you? Hi! They turned us away! Are you gonna Sorry. turn us away? Hi, I'm Irish! And Ellis Island's been turning us away. Are you gonna turn me away? I'm sorry, did you say that you got evicted from the casino? No, no. I was told to be turned away. I came there last night and they turned me away. They said you gotta go to Canada. I'm not driving all the way to Canada to, to stay for a night in the Vegas. Okay, so if you would like to, you can stop by the front desk and make a reservation. Do you have chicken there? I'm sorry? Chicken? A restaurant? Food? Well, anything? I'm sorry, I'm not understanding. Do you want to make a reservation or do you want to get in contact with the restaurant? Well, I want I want to know what you got amenity wise. Have you got shampoos and soaps in the in the rooms? Yeah. Have you got food? Yeah, it's not complimentary, but yeah. Okay, that's all I need to know. Otherwise, just have a nice day. All right. All right then. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, bye. Oh. I think she, she left for a second because I heard dead air and then she came out of nowhere from the deep. I think uh, I think she like answered a line and heard it ring for a second. Yeah. Uh, she might have said, can you hold please and come back. So I need to take a quick break, but let me find a call from a previous Pranksgiving. That's not too terribly long, but not too terribly short. Um... Hmm, let's see how... You know what? This one might be good. It's 3 minutes and 40 seconds. I will be back. I have to just uh, s stretch my legs for a moment. Otherwise, I'm going to have problems. Yeah, so I'm going to mute... Uh, I'm going to mute... I already did Milkman, so here. Listen, the hotel, can I'll I help you? Back. Hi, hotel. I'm in the hotel. I'm in a broom closet. I can't get out. I've been knocking sure. at the door for two hours now. I'm in the broom closet. No one has come to come get me. I'm stuck in here. I can't see a thing. I haven't got a light. The phone is, the screen is dead. What am I to do? What room? I found you. What room number, sir? Well, I, that's the thing. I didn't check in yet. My wife is going to get it, but she hasn't come to find me, I guess. I haven't found her. I haven't heard from her. She hasn't called me. But she was coming in and she was getting the key. I don't even know where we're supposed to be. And I'm stuck in a broom closet. Sir? Yeah, I'm stuck in the broom closet, man. Where are you at, sir? Well, the, I, well we, we, we got it, then, and we, we got in the bubble, sir. Hello? Yes, hello? Yes, sir? Well, we were getting dinner and we got stuck in the broom closet. Which is, she's gone off and I don't know where it is she's gone. Have you seen my wife? So what room number, sir? I don't know. We were checking in. I don't know what the room number was. I got stuck in the closet. She hasn't come looking for me. My phone ain't ringing. I managed to find your number. I have written down, <laughs> but I don't know where she is. My wife's gone. I'm stuck in the broom closet. What am I to do? What's your name, sir? It's Az. Sir? Johnson. Yes, Al Johnson here. What's your wife's name, sir? Horse. 
She's got the horse hair on her head and the horse weave. Her name's Julia. Have you seen Julia? There's a really strange smell in here. It smells like pool chemicals and poo poo. Sorry, sir. We are, we don't have Julia name here. Julia was going to check in. I don't know if she's got the room yet. Now I'm stuck in this broom closet. Do you know what broom closet this is? No one's come no, over. And no one's knocked on the door. I'm stuck in this room. It's dark. I can't see a thing. Well, we was gonna try and get some dinner, but the place was closed by the time we got in. So what is it? We don't have Julia. Hello. We were Hello? Sorry, sir, we don't have guests, Julia. What do you got for ladies' names? Maybe she's checking in under an alias, you know? I mean, she might have locked me in this broom closet. I don't even know. The door closed behind me. I can't get out. Sorry, What's sir, the name we don't she have... gave you? Or what'd she give you? Was it Julia? Was it Jennifer? Uh, uh... Was it push I don't know, the button sir, on your phone because you don't know how to use the phone correctly? <laughs> okay. I don't remember that call at all. I don't remember anything I did last year. That's okay. I've been coughing for the last five <laughs> like minutes. He slammed her down. Like, I don't know what that call was. It sounded weird. I don't. I don't think I've used that accent ever before or again. Um, Thank you for calling Arizona Charlie CK. Uh, your call will be recorded for quality assurance. If you know your party's extension, para español, por favor, prima uno. For room reservations, please press two. For restaurant reservations, press three. For more options, press four. To repeat, to speak with someone in the accounting department, please press. In an effort to better assist you, this call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. Thank you for calling Arizona Charlie's Decatur. This is Stacy. How may I address you? Oh, Stacy. Hi. I'm walking around outside. I'm not staying here or anything, but there's some people lighting up uh, like balloons on the side here. It looks like they're full of gas or something. They're, they're going boom, boom, boom. And they said, oh, you want to take a gander at this, buddy? And they said, you know, I'll, I'm going to light your hair. I'm going to touch your hair. And then they touched my son's hair. And then they lifted a lighter to his head and said, You see, we hold the fire in our hands. You see. Do they work for you? Oh, out here on the side of the building here. Like where there's no uh, no windows. On Evergreen Street, sir? Yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, there's a door. There's doorways. I guess that might be a window there to too. The security, sir, to tell them exactly where. Well, I don't know. Is security the, these people? Is this security? Uh, that doesn't sound like something security would do, sir. Well, they said they worked for the hotel and they had security like insignia on their sign, the 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 hand. You know, the the thing, the. Uh, what do you call it, son? Uh, sir, I'm sorry. I'm not on property, and I have no idea. Oh. What but they uh, they won't just touch your son without permission. Can I? They said, "Sunny, Sunny." Well, I, I don't know. One of them had the janitor uniform on. He had a janitor uniform. He was trying to touch to my security? hair. Uh, do you I don't know. Security? Yeah, let's talk to security. Let's get okay. this well, out well, sorted. Sir. Okay. Yes, certainly. Certainly. All right. Yes, certainly. Good. Okay. Perfect. Check it out today. 
enjoy a savory warm panini or delectable sweet treat at 108 Eats. I think we're done with Mr. Panini. Anyway, <laughs> I, I don't know. There was no plan there. I don't even know what the area looks like. I didn't look at anything. I just assumed, ah, there's, there's a doorway and there's an area with no windows. Well, maybe those are windows. <laughs> Evergreen you know, Street. You can always walk it back. Um... <laughs> Yeah. She's looking at the property map. She's not even, not even yeah, there. It's just, it's just the Simpsons household, Evergreen Terrace. Hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, we've got a situation brewing outside here. I'm just a local walking by. Hello? Yeah, this is the operator, sir. Who do you need to speak to? Oh, are you on site or no? So this is the hotel operator. We're in an office. Right. Who do you need to speak to? Oh, I need to speak to whoever's in charge of what's going on outside the hotel. What's going on outside of the hotel so I know who to transfer you to? Well, one of your advertising drones, it started following me as I walked by. And it's been advertising to me ever since for your hotel. And I'd really like it to leave me alone. What kind of advertising, sir? What are you referring to? Well, it's like it's a flying drone, and it keeps flying in front of my face and taking pictures of me. It says, come to the hotel. You know, it's advertising your hotel here. Experience life rewarding. <laughs> Who's in charge? Security dispatch, Tony. I'm going to help you. Hi, uh, are you in charge of this, these drones that are flying around and taking my picture and advertising to um, me? To the hotel. No. <laughs> okay, well, it's advertising your hotel, hotel to me. Hotel. It's been following me for six city blocks here. <laughs> I don't know nothing about no drones. To the hotel. I thought for sure you, you guys were doing this. So it's someone else? Do you have like a competitor that hates you or something? I don't know anything to about the hotel. drones. Cause I might be able to pick it up and like you know bring it to you so you can check it out. Okay. In the hotel. Because it's been following me. It, it, it even went in with me into the bathroom, and it was snapping yeah, photos of my junk. You know. The hotel. I'm really okay. concerned about my privacy right. here. Uh, okay. So so is a drone inside the hotel? No, it's outside. I've been hotel. walking. I I was walking by, and this thing came flying out of nowhere. And it started talking to me and um, advertising to your hotel. hotel. But then it started taking pictures because it came out, it, it came in front of me and it um, started making the clicking the sound like a picture is being taken. Okay, well, if you could show us a picture of the drone, then maybe we can help you bring it to security. I'll the bring the hotel. drone and then we can look at pictures of my junk. Have a good day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take a picture of your junk. Because <laughs> it, it flew in with me. That crotch eye view. <laughs> Boy, drones are awesome. I, I don't make up any premise. It fucking works horny. with them. <laughs> the yeah. drone's horny. It's a horny drone. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for calling Sex Motel 6. On board. Yeah. California consumers, uh -huh. Uh -huh. to learn about what personal information we collect and how we use it, please see our privacy policy at motel6.com. Good morning, thank you for calling Motel 6. I'll next speaking. How may I help you? Hi, he's fucking me. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 he's fucking me. <laughs> DTP's not here, so I gotta, gotta do one of his premises. Where is DTP? He's probably working. Everyone's working today. It's a, you know, it's a day where oh. people work. Oh, God. I, I call see. Again. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Brown Thursday or Black Friday. Uh, maybe if I yeah. take a, a shot of something, it'll calm down the throat. It's all itchy all of a sudden. I don't know what could possibly have caused that. Bong rip and uh, something else. Oh, this could be interesting. I don't know anything about um, this person, but if they maybe you know. 
uh, I will I will type it in here if they answer. Can't see it. In mumble. Did someone call me. No. Just noises. Wait, what the hell is that? What the Incor. hell is that? <clears throat> okay. Nope, they're not answering. Anyway, it it was the Gene Autry Museum, but I don't know anything oh. about Gene Autry. Um, Singing cowboy. Yeah, that's about all I know. That's about it. <laughs> I'm not a cowboy fan. <laughs> I'm an Indian fan. <laughs> I know nothing about anything. Uh, museum. Let's see. Museum. I'm trying to. Th Find places that look like big old buildings that are easily get you know to get lost in, but I'm not having a lot of luck. Um, okay, and everything's not working. Nothing's coming up, Millhouse. All right, let's change this up to something else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yes. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh. Or places to get lost in. Uh, question is whether or not I can do it without coughing. My brain's out, and the answer is probably no. Um, I'm a hell of a time shaking this cough I created. Thank you for calling Georgia Aquarium. All oh. tickets must be purchased online or Sounds through like the his call voice is under the water. What the fuck? Really? Yeah. For the most current information about Georgia Aquarium presentations, programs, current promotions, for the most current information uh, about Georgia Aquarium presentations, programs, current promotions, or to purchase tickets, please visit our website, georgiaaquarium.org. For information about our hours of operation, driving directions, parking, and accessibility, please press 1. For Georgia Aquarium membership or member services, press 2. For information about our education programs, children's birthday parties, or for groups of 15 or more people, press 3. For development, sponsorships, or donation requests, press 4. For information about booking a catered event, press 5. For our administrative offices or a dialogue uh, directory, press 6. No, to speak just, to a representative yes. about ordering tickets, no. booking a behind-the-scenes tour, or for uh, information it's gonna be eight or nine at this programs point. and activities. Press eight now or wait on the line. An operator will assist you. Cater an uh, aquarium to repeat this menu. Eight for eight general is... inquiry. Oh God! And pricing Jesus. information. Please press one. The catering to aquarium. Tickets How cool. Or to I have an about idea. An existing <coughs> reservation. Please press two um, to repeat one. this menu. Just press one. Yeah. Okay. I have a question. A valid question. <coughs> hmm. Hello, thank you so much for calling the Georgia Aquarium. My name is Valentina. We will continue with the call me up. Please know your name. Oh, I'm I'm just a visitor. So my name is visitor or guest. Okay, how can I help you? Uh, we're in desperate need of whale eggs. Whale eggs? Yes. From, like, the aquarium? Yes. My son so... wanted a, a nice big breakfast, but I'm out of eggs. And so he said, oh, call here. They have the big whale eggs. So I was hoping I can get some. Oh, Okay. Allow me one second on the line and I'll be back, okay? I'll okay. How we can give uh, it's you one second, right? And we're not going to be here for two seconds? I'll hold for one. Just one moment. Okay, one moment, yes. Moment's fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My son's very hungry. You like whale eggs with heat. You like bacon with grease 
Sausage and pancakes, you can't get them there. They only cater seafood and fish at the aquarium. Whales are big fish, you know. That's what my son said. <laughs> Got a whale egg. Got a whale egg. We like it with heat. Don't you dare serve it all raw. Because it won't taste as good unless it has heat. With heat, we are so hungry. We want some syrup on our pancakes. We want cornbread okay, and bean soup. Here. When she comes back, I'm gonna ask about the dolphin flakes. <laughs> dolphin flakes. Yeah, got some other things in my in mind here. If they come back, it's, big if. Please his name back. was Flipper. My son's He's very confused the about the eggs and the flakes and the dolphins <laughs> and the fish. You can catch on that the whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. It even has hair. It even has milk. That's right, it's a whale. Not a whale egg. Unless it's with heat. The baby's just with ate heat. inside the whale, too. <laughs> Just like humans. <laughs> Jonah, Jonah swam into stupid. the stomach of the whale. It's just stupid. The whale. This is one of my original premises, fully... by the way. Uh, <laughs> it shouldn't work, but Very beautiful. it works for some reason. That's not a good thing. <laughs> well, I wonder what they cater at the aquarium. What would they possibly can? Seafood? Whale blubber. <laughs> Illegally obtained whale blubber. Mmm. Tilapia. Hello? <laughs> uh oh. Hello? Oh. Oh, more Don't classical hold. music. That's yeah. alright. At least it's, it's usually not DMCA. Well, oh. give it a minute. I like I want to see where this goes. This is Spanish guitar. Well, it's with you. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm sorry. I think I misunderstood you. So, what is it specifically that you need? Uh, whale eggs, and uh, dolphin flakes, and uh, uh, penguin penisu. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know what you catering. Damn it, you what know? are you catering, lady? Damn. I mean, all right, it's on me, but damn, I was really hoping, you know. Maybe we should ask him what they're catering. <laughs> it's just, you know. Yeah. The, all right. We'll provide the heat. Thank you for calling the Flint River Aquarium. If you know your part. <laughs> oh. It's making that noise, like the vibrator noise. Flint River Aquarium may help you today. Hi, uh, do you have uh, eggs there to start our own? Um, no, sir. There's no starter cultures to have uh, to make the the fish grow in the tank. Uh, no, sir. We don't. Well, what about tadpole powder? We don't sell any. All right, what do you got for kids? Kids, um, so we have shirts, we have toys, um, we have some candy. That's about it. What kind of candy? Is it fish-shaped or aquarium-themed? Um, so we have some rock candy. Okay, that's kind of like the rocks inside the aquarium. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, then we'll be by later, and I'll be there a little tipsy, because we've been drinking all night, but it's all right. Right, son? Yes. Yeah. It's right. We'll come over. All right. I want some... I want some bold fish 
Can you bowl some fish for me? Will you, will you deliver? Don't believe tell those kids me. fish in the background. Can we oh, put our hands in the Tell them fish in the, the background tank? to shut the heck up. Yeah, all those kids gotta shut the fuck up. It's just too loud. It's getting on my nerves. Not uh, you, but those oh, damn yeah. kids. I think they're putting fingerprints all over the glass. I probably tap on the glass, glass and make the fish clean. angry. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock on the glass. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, it's gonna crack. Now don't oh. do it. Don't do it. It's gonna crack. Well, it's not gonna crack. It's an aquarium. They made it special. Oh. It's not gonna. I don't think the it's fish gonna is crack. To bite me. Is it gonna crack? Oh. I don't know. Hello? Oh, all right. Well, that's good. At least there's that. As long as it won't break. It's bulletproof. Good. I like my fish with heat. Can I have it over easy? Extra greasy? I don't believe we sell any fish to eat. But that would be a concept. Mm. Yes. What is that's what everybody should be having in the aquarium. Fish. You get to eat what you're looking at. Yes, sir. How about eel? Got any unagi eel? Sorry, I was making a deposit in the toilet. I had a flush. Oh turn on the fan, Dad. Turn on the fan. Ooh. 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 You got Glade air freshener. I need to borrow it. <laughs> it came in a little too hot, and um, I think I deafened him with a toilet flush. I can't find the fucking glass smashing. There it is. I found oh. it now, of course. <laughs> nothing's, okay. nothing's named anything I recognize. Hey, Wasted, thank you. Sancho. Yeah, that. Hey, oh, wasted machines. Happy Thanksgiving, brother. Happy Thanksgiving, Bancho. Yeah. Are you ready for your uh, your tenure on the microphone? Uh, I, don't the see a, I don't see I don't have any money. There's we, uh, ten dollars. Jingo. Dwight ate through 50, uh, ten over ten dollars of credit in under a half hour last night. I had this really weird oh, feeling. Sex lines? Like, no, just Guam. This still doesn't make any sense. No. Hello. <laughs> this is Roland with Land Aquarium Maintenance Service. Your name and number. Oh no no. no. Oh, well okay. Hi, this is uh, Downey the Clown. I'm depressed. Nothing has you... been recorded. Oh, Record perfect. Your... Okay, good. I'm glad. <laughs> okay. Beef. I'm depressed clown. Uh, He's not really awake yet. Um, beef answering machine. All right, let's change been recorded. that up. Hmm. I was listening earlier. What are you calling now? I had to go get beer. Aquariums or aquarium shops mainly. I don't know. Museums and all kind of junk. Can I ask him a question? Museum. Yeah, let me get a like a proper, not a store or something. Let me see if there's any damn aquariums. Uh, let me think here. There's one I remember going to as a kid. That must be. Santa Cruz has a big one. There's a. Uh, I don't know where this is actually. Oh, okay. That should be good. Thank you for calling the National Aquarium, located in Baltimore's Inner Harbor, where amazing things happen. Oh, it's like actual aquariums. Okay. Thank you for calling the National Aquarium. Ah, shit. Okay, we're going to wait. But Harbor, yeah. Where amazing things happen every day. Are they open? They're all, yeah, they're all open. Plan your visit on the web at aqua.org. For the month of November, I don't know how Black Friday works Monday anymore because it's it, nothing's actually busy Friday, anymore. 10 a.m. It doesn't to seem to matter. And Saturday Everyone's and Sunday, open. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The last aquarium entry is 60 minutes before closing. Special hours. Okay. Close what is this man talking about? Thursday, November. Try to find out if it's like man. Just press one, and see where it goes. You know. You may feel adventurous. Oh gosh! All right, no. 
No, I don't want to go to Aquadotor. Everything is, there's no more, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's no more people. It's all AI or bots, and there's no one to talk to. No one wants to do their jobs either. Since they start saying web, that's a clue Thank that you you're probably that. not going to get a lot of help. Yeah. In Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Uh, We're okay, so that's the same shit. All right. Uh, Check out the one in Santa Cruz. It's like a big Pacific Aquarium. Yeah. That's oh, and it's something about discovering the inside of your your uh, whale's asshole, I guess. I don't know. I think they were watching some kind of whale cloacas. Yeah, the whale cloaca. Jesus. Precisely. That's where the egg comes out. Yeah. It's like a production line, but waste it as an idea. So here you go if it answers and oh, call that's... someone else. Hi, Seymour Marine Discovery Center. How can I help you? Hi, uh, I had a question about the glass, the aquarium glass. Um, let's see if I can help. Yeah. Okay. I, how, like, how does it? Like, how strong is it? If you if you push on it. Um, you could, but we ask that you wouldn't. You can't push on it. Like, it's weak. It'll break. Well, like, you could push on it, but for the safety of our animals and just not disturbing them, we ask like with you your hands, just like push, just push it on it with your hands. Yeah. Do you have like a spot you can push on it? Like, if you want to like touch all over it and stuff. Like you could, you could touch our aquarium glass. Um, like put like, with your hands and put. Like, you're pushing on it and you push on it with your hands. Yeah. Like to get you know like I'm trying to get you know, cause you gotta. How do you say it like closer? Um. Well, you you can't move the glass. Oh no! I'm just trying to get closer. If I just put like if I get. If you're, I'm too, like, I'm real far away, and I'm trying to get like up close, personal, personal space with the fish. Um, the glass won't move. Um, no, I, I hope not. Is it, is it supposed to? No. How hard do I gotta I push it? I don't know. I'm if sorry, I'm pushing on it, I'm just pushing on it real hard. I'm pushing on it. Yeah, I don't know what reason you would have to push that hard on our aquarium. What if I okay? What if I take my shoes off? Excuse me. Because then I can't put. Well, if I take my shoes off, would it, does that help? If I'm pushing on it with my hands, if I take my shoes off. If you, I, sir, I'm sorry. I don't know how to answer these questions. Off my feet. I don't have shoes. I don't have shoes on my hands. I'm talking about. I take my shoes off my feet. Yes, I don't know how that would help at all. If I'm, you know, if I'm pushing on the aquarium glass, I'll just take my shoes off. Then I can't, you know, it's harder to push. Um, okay, I would say you don't have to touch the glass. It's honestly really close and personal already. Um, and to push on any aquarium glass, I don't, I don't know if there's any purpose for that. Well, I get my hands on there, and I can get my face right up to the glass, then. You could get your face right up to the glass, yes. Um, but, yeah, pushing but I'll on put, it, I'll, taking you, off. So yeah. I'll, I'll try to be pushing. Yeah, I'll try to get closer. But if I'm getting too close, I can push with my hands, and then my, my face will get, you know, it can kind of balance how close my face is to the glass. I can balance it. Like a balancing, like a push balance, back and forth. And I'll take my shoes off. Okay, um, you're welcome to do whatever of those that you like. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to answer these. I have socks on. I do have socks on. I'm, okay. I'm wearing socks. I have socks. I'll just do it in my sock feet. Okay, please keep your shoes on um, and feel free to come. I'm well, sorry, I okay. don't know how to answer these questions better. Uh, like, I got, like a lean, like a, well, I mean, how hard can I, I mean, just if I just lean on it? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, thank you, sir. We are really busy. Have a good day. Bye bye. All right, I love you. Bye. <laughs> I was waiting for the glass <laughs> to start smashing. Like, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Big flood. Noah's flood. <laughs> um, someone called back that we left a message for. I think, uh, and they talked to the angry hillbilly bot. So that ought to be 
uh, special. Let's see what happened here. Oh, I gotta turn up the volume before I start it. All right, here we go. Hello. Yes, I'm giving a call back from someone who left a message here at the Strasburg Railroad. Excuse me? I have a phone call from this phone number. Somebody was asking me uh, questions here at the Strasburg Railroad. Got the horsey who are cat. You? <laughs> I'm Brenda calling from the Strasburg Railroad. What? Never mind. I guess somebody called by mistake. Ha ha. No, you guys called me. Oh, really? Because I can tell somebody you Somebody right called now, me and husband, was like, they were looking for a train or something. You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. Who has? Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk-ass bitch? And that's the end of the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Very timely. Oh, I didn't know that was the bot on this number. Oops. I wanted oh, it to be a Lord. little bit kinder than that, but uh, whatever. <laughs> you know, that, that's what happens. Very cantankerous. Yeah. All right, here's little another. Fucker, I've been drinking all day. Thank you for calling Noah's Monterey Bay uh, National Marine Sanctuary Noah. Exploration Center. We are open to the public Wednesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and are located on 35 Pacific Avenue in Santa Cruz. Direct. I have a feeling Zero is going to get us where we need to go. Oh, yeah. Thank you for contacting Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, right, we're looking for whale eggs. If you could give us a call back at this number, we're in desperate need. Uh, we were trying to breed the, the whales, and one got loose and smashed all the eggs, and now we need more whale eggs. If you could give me a call back, that'd be great. Thanks a lot. Uh, I love you. That makes no sense and perfect. Um, there's a wildlife. I'm surprised, reference, but it's like they a got a, yeah. It's like they got a target. big push, it's man. Commercial push. Soccer? Oh no, that's not the right thing. Nope. It, that is not what I want, and that's all the aquarium for that area. Aquarium, aquarium near. I don't know. Let's try Seattle. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe. Ah, oh, yeah. There's actually one and it's open. Perfect. Thank you for calling the Seattle Aquarium. We are open every day from 9.30 a.m. until 6 p.m. with last entry at 5. Come on. Come on, Zero. Do the business. If you have finished, press the pound key. Uh, hello? Hello? I don't know what the fuck. Sorry, I could not find a similar name or menu option. Oh. <coughs> Thank you for calling the Seattle Aquarium. Let's just try one. We are open. One might work. Usually does. Okay. Admission ticket prices vary depending on the visit date and how far in advance you buy. Please visit seattleaquarium.org for current prices and to purchase your time tickets, which we strongly recommend doing so. Different Thank area, you for different thing. Aquarium. We are oh. finally experiencing a very high call volume, and we oh, appreciate no. your patience and understanding. Please expect <laughs> longer wait times to speak to a representative and have your order number ready. Head. Let's see. Is there a different you number? Head, I didn't know you worked there. At contact us. No, at no, no contact. No. No. Okay. Reservations are required by all guests, including mm -hmm. members, and tickets are limited. Weekends, holidays, and museums for all passes are selling out quickly. So I know, I know where there's now, things. Or continue to hold for more options. Oh, put, and maybe. tickets and foot for tickets. For membership information, please press 1. For ticket information, including discounts and Illinois residents free days, press 2. For hours, press 3. 
Human. For directions and parking information, press 4. For, human. For group reservations, including field trips and other it's learning like programs, six or nine press or some 5. Ridiculous thing. If you know the extension of the person you wish to speak no, with, I don't. or to access the Shed directory, press 6. Shed Aquarium Why is a live operator zero? available daily because from I did. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. I 7 a.m. Oh, I wasn't. If you are calling outside of the hours, this man talking, and I don't like it. Just, at yeah. Shed Aquarium. Yeah, I'll, I'll try again, but... Okay. It just repeated itself when I press it initially. I don't. Away lake. We like to use heat to make fries. Your call away is lakes. To us. Please remain on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. What, what if? What if you called grocery stores that have lobsters and ask about yeah, the aquarium? I like that idea better. That's a better <laughs> idea. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Where do you move them to when they when they go on? I, I you guys got new new exhibits in there all the time. Let's try this. I don't know. That work. This will work. That'll work. Maybe. There we go. Probably don't need more of this. Good morning, you guys. Can I help you? Hi, you have lobsters? Huh? You have a lobster or a buzzy phone line that I can't make out anything and you probably can't hear me either? Just a second, okay? Oh, oh boy. You have it? You have me. He's, he's speaking to you through an AM radio. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, can you turn down your Geiger counter? The radiation, the radiation on the phone line is really uh, making it hard to hear you. Oh, I don't know how to turn it off the thing. Oh, do you have uh, lobsters? No, we don't sell lobsters. Oh, do you know who sells lobsters around here? Yeah, um, go to, uh, what's it called? It's a store on Bronson. Uh, uh, I got it, I got it, I got it, okay. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Dad, ask them if they got crabs. You got crabs? No. Oh. I lost the crabs. Okay, what do you have? Uh, we have uh, just uh, trim, but frozen. We don't, we don't cut those stuff. Okay, make sure you get your phone line inspected by a doctor, a licensed doctor, because it's got a problem. It sounds like it has crabs. Okay. Okay? Bye. Okay, bye. You too. Bye. <laughs> Tell her your girlfriend she needs to take a bath. <laughs> Horrible. She got crabs. It's just awful. Thank you for calling Ralph's in Los Angeles. How can I help you today? Seafood. One moment, please. Yay. Ralph's is very expensive. Ow's. Ow. Stomping my foot. Ow. Hello, thank you for calling Ralph. Hi. Have you got lobsters in today? Sorry, did you say, what did you say, lobsters? Yeah. Um, I could double check with uh seafood department if you give me a sec i'm gonna have to put you i've on got hold, some though. questions about the aquarium you have there oh well uh give me then give me a second let me take a look um all right but i hope it's just a second because we got a situation here with lobsters we're not sure how to right, care well, just, for them i i listen man i i just have to put you on hold really quick and i'll, I'll get back to you okay 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 uh, right, I'll hold. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -oh. This song is really old. Yeah, we have crabs. Our girlfriends don't wash. Whale eggs come with lobster claws.
got a whale claw lab <laughs> attached to your lobster egg. <laughs> I don't know if they're coming. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'm going to give up on that. Cause it's like the, Bird Lobster. Might be too busy. That's why, I mean, the, the, theater, uh, the theaters, yeah. The um, museums and stuff and aquariums are hitting pretty good. Um, yeah, start right into them. Just right into them. Yeah. Just, I'm going to go right, right away. Another, uh, they always have a lobster. The well, answer we can is ask yes, all the museums if they have lobster, too. Just confuse people. I don't know. Maybe they have lobsters on display from like what is, six million years ago. <laughs> what is what is this? What what? Is... I don't even know what I called. It's a museum of some lobster sort. Lobster hotel. It museum. Could be. Yeah, let's just ask about Lobster. lobsters. I don't care. Can't hurt. Buck lobster. E fifty two. Is this what we're calling? Oh, it is. You have reached Three Valley Museum. Uh, Our hours uh, are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Hi, do you have lobsters? Give me a call back. I've got a different number uh, for something else. Oh my god, someone's like driving things around, making noise for no reason. We're calling the Museum of the Red River. How can I help you? Hello? Hi, Museum. Hi, Hello? how are you? Um, if you're hi, talking, I can't uh, hear yeah, you. Give us a uh, call back. Hi, hi, how are you? Hmm. You're cutting out for me really bad. I don't know if that's it or if it's a bot. So I'm just going to move on, but... I've been noticing a lot of the hotels... Uh, I was hearing the dropout. Yeah, it's dropping out really bad. I'm checking my... Good afternoon, that's probably, Laura that's, Oh, that's me. Museum. Hi. Hi. Hello? Hi. Oh. Hello? Hi. Hi, my brother and I are here. He was going to take Lee. Hello? All right, fine. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I didn't know if you were doing I wasn't it sure am, you were I, am I better it. now? Yeah, you're better now. Let's try yeah, it. Yeah, you're I, back. Let's see if she I dropped a bunch of little. packets. Yeah. I, I dumped a bunch of packets on my Good foot. Good afternoon, Will Rogers Museum. Hi, oh, this stupid phone. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, I had a problem with, um, uh, we, we, we took one of them home and we don't know how, like, we're having trouble, like, preparing it. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think you've got the wrong number. You got the fish, right? Do what? You have the fish, right? You got no, all, we don't all have them fish. fish. This is what the do you got? Rogers Museum. Yeah, don't you have them things swimming around? We don't have fish swimming around. The man told me that this place had fish swimming around, and this is the place. Where's the fish that are swimming around? Don't you have like a like a well or a basement somewhere? We don't. There's something have about the a, fish swimming around. We don't have any fish swimming around up here. We've never had well, like any prepared? fish swimming up here. We don't have, you have well, anything this is a, horse. This is a yeah. mu, this is a museum. We don't have any yeah. kind of food up here. Oh, okay. But why are you giving me trouble about it? Why my what? He's he's my buddy. Is, he's he's saying that you stole his horse. But I don't, I'm not not sure about that. I was talking about horse. the fish. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, just kind of loosely. Horses or anything up here. I'm sorry. This is a business. Did you sell it? Yeah, you must have sold it in like a like a horse chop. Sh no, chop. We didn't sell it. Horse anything. chop. And I need to hang up. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Uh, oh. Wow. And now I have horrible background noise, which I can't do anything <laughs> about because somebody forgot so, that I'm doing Will a fucking Rogers show right a cowboy. Now. What do you mean, no horses, lady? <laughs> So I don't know. This is this noise must, is horrible. Must have rode a horsey cat. Uh, let me find another number here. Well, I, I got Espo, lost. It sounds yeah. like you're. It sounds I'm inside like you're of inside a leaf of a, blower like a or something. Uh, someone like decided to. Processor. I know, it, but I'm not. It's it's at exterior to me. Someone's decided that uh, you know that into the call. Yeah. Like they're vacuuming. Somebody's vacuuming. Someone's vacuuming. Jason Trail Heritage Hello? Center. How can I help you? 
Hi, uh, how do I prepare it? I've got the machine turned on. I took it. And now how do I prepare it? Okay, who are you looking for? A uh, lobster mechanic. Um, this is the museum here in Duncan. Right. And I took the lobster from the museum, and now I'm trying to cook it. How do I do this? Okay. Wasted is so much better, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just a what? little... I don't know. Your microwave's man. running. Yeah, I, I can't even... I can't concentrate with this noise. It's really... I mean, I don't think... You gotta use it. Use it to your advantage. Yeah. Leave the noise on. Leave it okay. on. I want to talk to them about this noise. Hi, I got this noise in the background. Is that gonna, like, be a, be a problem if I have this noise with me when I come and visit? Like, do you hear that? The noise in the it's, back. Yeah, that you hear that like that. It sounds like a leaf blower or something like something ridiculous. Like it's not. Yeah, like it's, it sounds like that. Uh huh. You're asking. Is that going to be a problem? If you come. Yeah. To if the I, Yeah. If I have that leaf, I, if it's going to sound like that. If I come and visit the museum, that's how I sound. That's how you. Um. Uh, um, like a word, yeah. It's it's medical, but I don't know. Sometimes uh, it's I don't know. You can't always say that. Oh, um, yeah. I don't think it would be a problem, honestly. Okay, okay. Well, it's just it's a. Do you hear that, right? Yeah, I can hear it, but. I okay, mean, good, it's a good. Medical issue. There's nothing. I want to well. Do. Well, I just want to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into with, with me and my noises. Yeah, I got all kinds. Of, that That's just like the that's the standard noise. It, it can get louder. It's gotten softer. But, I mean, it's 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 kind of like that, like just all the time with this. Yeah, it should be okay. Okay, I'll try to muffle it as best as I can with some blankets. Okay. All right, thank you. Appreciate, I appreciate your... Yeah, uh, on Thanksgiving and is, is happy. Thank, thank you. Goodbye. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I had to <laughs> stifle myself, I'm holding my mouth shut, so I won't laugh. Oh, that's right. You had, to be, yeah, you exactly. had to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> this is how I sound. <laughs> this is my the sound is in my head. Can you hear it? <laughs> so I know what's going on. It's like it, tinnitus. You know? It won't go away. There's leaf blowing going on, and uh, and that's a grinder, a leaf grinder. And unfortunately, the person I informed no not to do this at this hour is uh, or that's near a this leaf grinder. How yeah. big is your bong? You need a fucking leaf grinder. It's calls will be responded. I hired a man to pack your bong. If you know yeah, the yeah. extension, you may dial it's it huge. at any time during this announcement. For general okay. information, I'm push 0. I think that's going to take us where we need to go. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. Nice. Thank you for calling the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. How can I help you today? Hi. Hello? Hi. My, my grandmother called me. Uh, she said she was stuck somewhere in there. I'm going to three-way her in, okay? I'm just going to press the button here. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Uh, zero. Grandma, you there? Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yes, hello. Uh, I'm somewhere inside the museum. I can't see a thing. I went looking for the loo, but I've got it lost. And my grandson here, and he couldn't help me. Not at all. Can you help me, dear? What floor are you on? <laughs> Well, I'm not quite sure I was in a tall crib with my son-in-law and, and his, his children 
And I said, oh, I've got to find a loo. So I went looking, and I found a door. But it shut behind me, and there's no lights in here. I don't know. But perhaps it's a second floor. Yes. I'm not sure. Yes. Oh, God. I've got a... What? When I got in here, I couldn't find it, the toilet. So I took down my trousers and made quite a mess in here. And I'm not sure if this is a, a store room or a machine room. I think I'm getting pregnant. Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes. Oh, dear. Are you there? Are you at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art? Yes, yes. We were looking at the art and I was admiring this this painting and it was very, very tiny but beautiful. Yes. And for Sonny Lord he said, Oi, maybe that's not so so beautiful. He said he wanted to burn it. But I thought I don't know. No, I must go to the loo. And so I went to look in. And where it I found is not a loo at all. It's a cupboard of some sort. All right, ma'am. If you hold on for just a second. Yes. Yes, I'm holding. Oh, what's that now? It's the landscapers. Don't worry. We're still three way in, Grandma. Yes. Hello. Yes, hello. I'm inside of a cupboard or something in your premises here. And I, I can't find my way out. What happened? I'm in a, a dark room. That I thought was a loo. But it, I can't find my way out. All right, are you okay? Yes, yes. And when I got in here, I, I did think that it was a, a toilet here. And so I did do my business on the floor. But I didn't want to tilt them up my trousers again. And now since Where the last are... time. Yes. Where are yes. you? I don't know. There was a door. I thought it was a loo. But it closed behind me. And there's not any light in here. And my son... Where are you? My son right, say... Where, where are yes. you? In the dark room. Where? In a dark I room? The second floor somewhere. I was with All my right. family. Yes. All right, hold on. Talk to Mary. I'm gonna go look at her. Yes. Okay. Hello? Yes. Hello. Ma'am, can I get a, uh, a, a cell phone number to call you back in case we get disconnected? Oh, I don't know. It's, I'm sorry. I'm, I really don't. My, my family gave me this. It's a life alert. And it's not a phone, it's per se. They set the emergency number to wherever we go. Because I'm, I get lost a lot, you see. And I hope that the doors are not meant to be in. This, this has happened a lot. So I press the button and here we are. I says no, no darling prior door. Anyway, I could call anyone else. Yes. They've made you so my daddy for the day. Call you, there's no way to call you back if we were to get disconnected. No, you're just, you're just ring yourselves. I'm sorry to say. Yes. Yes. And the life alert people. They'll answer, but they can't get in contact with me because my number's now your number because that's how my family said it. And you're my babysitter for the day, I'm afraid. Yes. That's what they've done to me, you see. They put me in the home. They take me out and they've treated me like a dog. I'm the family pet, you see. Yes. Mm hmm Yes. Oh, God. 
hot. Well, security is suggesting that you hang up and call 911. I can't sit so sorry to die with you again. My family's sitting up at the yours. Your emergency contact. There's nothing I can do about that. It doesn't have any buttons there. There's two buttons. There's one that's to call you very quickly and another to call you very slow. Okay. I don't know. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's get that done for wasted there. Uh, what are we calling? Uh, uh, what, what? 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 I don't know what I'm calling. I'm just gonna try and call like a grocery store, and then I don't know if the sound's gonna come back and forth because the most of the grinding noises are oh. done. I think it was a lawnmower, not oh, a okay. grinding machine, like that's a leaf okay. grinder. Yeah. Hello, grocery store. Yeah. Hi, grocery store. How are you? Thank you for grocery calling store. Trader Joe's USC. This is Jaime. How may I assist you? Hi, Trader Joe's Trader grocery Trader. store. Um, I have a thing with uh, with some of the fish I got from there. It was it was just like a weird thing because uh, the one I had it still had like teeth and stuff in it, and I thought it was dead, but it, it bit, and like I was preparing it and it bit me. The fish bit you. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not really used to that. Is that normal? No. That is not normal. Why? Oh, why did it? It only did it once, but it did bite me though, and I'm not really sure why. It, but it did bite me. Is uh, am I? Do I need yeah. to be worried about it? Well, we don't sell we don't sell live fish, so. I know it's not alive, but it still bit me. That's why. Should I be worried about this? Is it like some zombie shit, or am I just am I overreact? Like a, like a SD test or something? I, I don't know. Like, is it like a syphilis thing? If you get bit by a, like, it's a dead fish. If you get bit by a dead fish, what happens? Nothing that I'm aware of. I've never been bitten by a dead fish before. That's why I'm calling and asking. Are you sure nothing happens? I'm pretty sure. Have you ever been bitten by a dead fish before? No. Okay, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too confident anymore. You, do you got somebody there that's been bitten by a dead fish before? Uh, I don't think so. How, okay, how do you know then? Ah, uh, because a uh, dead fish will not bite. It bit me. Okay, you want to see the wound? Man. I'm good. Is, is it hurt real bad. Well, okay, man. Is, maybe is there anything else I can with? They can give me some salve or Vaseline or something to put on the on the wound. I mean, if you're not going to do anything else. Uh, yeah, you could go to Target and see if they could give you something with it, or you could go to your local doctor. Target. They don't. They don't deal with fish bites. Uh, neither we do we, sir. You sell that stuff. Target doesn't even sell fish. Yes, Not like that. Huh? Not like that. They yeah, don't sell fish like that. They sell it frozen in a box. You sure about that? Yes. Yeah, my man. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. But yeah, there's nothing I can pretty much do about it. Target doesn't sell anything that can bite me. That is correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, man. Well, have a good day, okay? Can I get a Band-Aid from you then? Or what? are we going to hang sure, out I'll at least? Give, come here. I'll be happy to give you a Band-Aid. Like we hang out and like, do the Band-Aid thing for a little bit? Yeah, it is fine. Yeah, we just hang out while we do the band okay. like Yeah, okay, we just hang out good. for a little bit. With the, what, we're going to hang out and we'll do the Band-Aid together. Like, yeah, we'll just hang out. All right, sounds good. Then I can tell you about, I can tell you about it. I can tell you all about the fish. Okay, sounds good, boss. Have a good day, man. Like, okay, it's. I want to. I want to hang out together then, right? All right, sounds good. Bye bye. Okay. I, well, I, I love you. Well, <laughs> that was fun. I Amy have, was uh, in a hurry. I have a couple minutes left here. I'm gonna run this voicemail that came in. Someone spoke to a bot for a minute, and then we'll be done. And we're gonna go over to corndown.com. 
and uh, no. listen to no, Dragon Man. No? Rogue, Rogueserver.com okay. slash Dragon Man. We're doing it on Rogue Server. Rogue okay. Server.com slash Dragon Man. Gotcha. So RogueServer.com slash Dragon Mirror to listen to the corn down. With but the Dragon corn down Mirror. mumble, right? That's what I'm confused about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. On the mumble, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh Perfect. All right. Oh, my God. You should call Trader Joe's and tell him you're going to bring, bring, him, bring him up on charges in front of a tribunal for his, his traitorish ways. Being a little traitor. Uh, that's, not bad. that's how he sounds. That's how he now. sounds now. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. 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 Oklahoma City oh. Museum of I'm Art. I'm calling from the Oklahoma City Museum, Museum of Art. Art. Call from First this number, and I was just checking to see if everyone was all right. Excuse me. I said we just received a very strange phone call from this number, and so I was just calling back to make sure everyone was all right. Who are you? I just told you I'm calling from the uh, art museum in Oklahoma City. What? Okay, I'm actually going to get you guys over here. I'm so sorry. Ha ha. Uh, I'm not being funny, ma'am. We received uh, a call, and we're just making sure everyone's okay. Okay. Very oh, really? Because I can yeah. tell you right now, my husband... Mm-hmm. You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. Thank you. What show? Have you been here before? Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk ass bitch? Uh -huh. oh. You fucking loser. All right. You guys have a great rest of your day. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. And now, now there's even more noise. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the hell's going on here. <laughs> it's like a tornado out there. Well, uh, you know, Machine we did tornado. have the tornado take us earlier, so we're just getting back down to the ground, maybe. Well, for the rest Machine of the night, I'm going to set that tornado. number so it's the confused old lady bot. And um, I'm going to sign off here and hand the torch over to Dragomir and Wasted Memory for their... Uh, the show that's coming up on Corn Down. No, 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 no. Rogue, Rogue server server dot com. com or slash Dragon Slash yeah. Dragon There you go. And join us on the Corn Down Mumble. Right. We'll be, I'm disconnecting from here and going to that mumble. Yeah, that's it's where the same I'm going. fucking thing. Yeah. Go over there. You should all come over there. Yeah. That's where we're going. All so. you kids, we'll be back this coming Friday. 10 p.m. at the Madhouse Militia. You had an early sunglasses show today. Happy pranks given to all our beloved. And thank you to, to everyone that's listening. And make sure to check out our edited show at immoralhole.com, uh, youtube.com forward slash at Madhouse Militia, and uh, patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. And you can find all the old shows from going back to 2019. Uh, when I started the community call show to give Carlito a break on having to host things because he was not well. But anyway, thank you, everybody. Thank you to everyone that participated. Wasted Memory, Milkman, myself, Miriam, Downey, you know, Mr. Clay. Thank you, everybody. Good. Uh, see you later. We're going to do RSPC later. Bye.